we're live. <laughs> yes, they are entirely necessary. It is the standard classic intro of Is the microphone on? Yes, it looks to be on. There we go, we can start. Anyway, we're going to do Crying Sons again. How easy is it going to be to access Crying Sons? Very, very easy. Superb. Well done, computer. You have a biscuit. I say you have a biscuit. I don't think a biscuit would do it much good. Um, in fact, I'm relatively confident biscuit crumbs would probably be the death of the machine. So maybe we'll just stick with a, a friendly pat on the uh, exterior shell case. Oh, such a romantic. Such a romantic beyond belief. Whoa, oh, wait, whoa. <laughs> good for cannon fire at fire at there we go. It has. And I, I made it slightly bigger because I didn't like it sort of just lurking a little tiny in the corner. Only slightly bigger. Just, you know. One of these days I'll actually get round to uh, building my own sort of full screen ones that will do all sorts of fancy things. I still want them themed around uh, Skies of Acadia because I quite like that, but. I, like, I also like the idea of having them just that little bit more full screen and slightly fancier. Slightly fancier. Because I've done a minor volume of editing on those ones, but uh, it'd be, probably be quite nice to have something fancier. Anyway, thank you. I've gone on a sort of um, an offshoot of my own obsession over my alerts when really. The ultimate part is to thank you for the subscription. You get to maintain your emotes, which I sure will be lovely. Uh, and I get, you know, cold hard cash. So, a little bit more mercenary than I was expecting to state, but, you know, it's what happened. Anyway, thank you, though. That's, that's the crucial element. Thank you. Uh, I do appreciate the subscription, and I appreciate your presence in terms of the spelling of E-C-E-N-C-E -E -E. but I suppose arguably the subscription is a present unto itself but welcome how oh dear they are, uh, what is it they're mercy wings aren't they mercy Christmas now did that theoretically that I think I added the emotes as well so that should jump across the screen but I must admit it's one of those ones where I can see the chat out of the corner of my eye so I can tell what's happening in the chat fairly easily but in terms of the screen, sometimes that's a, l that's a little bit more further. have to actually rotate my head a little bit more to check what's uh, appearing on the screen. Now, is that a little bit too high? No, that's probably about the right sort of volume. Right. Oh, good lord. <laughs> yes. I must admit, it, it's slightly tempting to try and figure out one of those sort of branching emotes. But I haven't really got any inspiration as to uh, what that should be. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if I can figure something out. Right, so whereabouts were we? We were here on the border shop. Do I want to purchase anything? Uh, oh, do I want to repair anything? Oh, yes, I probably want to repair things. Uh, fuel? Yeah, I'd say it's probably worthwhile getting some fuel. And yeah, I think we'll repair my frigates and fighters. Can I not? Yeah. Oh, cocky bum bum. <laughs> I've only just realised there's a counter for the amount of things you can repair, I get the impression. So I should have I should have repaired that one first, because that is one of my better fighters. But unfortunately, I assumed it was just spend 20 scrap and you can repair any, any one you like. But I suppose, never mind. Uh, we'll take another fuel. Outside of that, I think we'll leave the shop. Uh, but it was, yes, uh, welcome as well. Welcome. We we got distracted by um, everything else. I didn't welcome you. Welcome, Mr. Blue Bush. How are you this afternoon? Are you doing well? Uh, let's dismount that ship for now. Because we don't know what ship we want, so we might as well just do that. Uh, star map. Right, so we want to head over to the cluster boss, the Cluster Boos. Oh, now, what was that one? Oh, that's a quest. Well, I feel obliged to head over to a quest. 
So I think it's got to be. Yeah, I think it's got to just. We got to just go over to Bowers Fenlio. Uh, yeah, I think that's the one. The freezer repair man fixed out fixed our freezing. This took one month doing, <laughs> looking at Magneto and despairing. Ah, despairing in what way? What which part has caused the despair? Because I, I is it figuring out how you want to paint him, or is it the building of him? Or is there something else involved that's causing despair? All the parts are. Is has he got like proper tiny bits in his construction then? Or I suppose he's he's got all his sort of metal struts and as well, don't he? I imagine they're gonna be a pain in the ass. Well, especially if you sat on them, but more to the point, difficult to build. But yeah, I, I thought your freezer had been repaired a while ago, but um good to hear it's now fixed he comes with rubbles he has rubbles on him with extra rubbles and he floats and he has a huge cloak i suppose yes cloaks were the bane weren't they no the bane is the bane and bane doesn't wear a cloak sometimes you see him in a coat but he doesn't wear a cloak uh charge battleship sir thank you oberon an imperial ship you you are an only child I am. Everyone in this ship is Admiral. Okay, where did the children come from? I, I feel like as an Admiral of a fleet, I should really know where children come from, but I, th I think it's a bit more detailed than just uh, the general biology of the situation. A uh, ship full of children? I, I don't understand. We are the children of Theodorus. Four. And we adore us. A planet in a church cluster, unlike most people on our planet, we do not worship the Omnis as gods, and for this we've been persecuted. So we stole a ship and left, studying all battleship book books in our libraries beforehand. Still, it's been a bumpy ride, I won't deny it. Please help us, Admiral. You're our only hope. We're only children. Well, I'll ask how I can help, but I suspect they're a little bit more sinister than just children. How can we help? We're being pursued by other church ships. They know about us now. You could help us by bringing us aboard, Admiral, by defending and transporting us to a planet where we'll be free to think and act as we wish. We know of such a planet not far away. You could put it in your star map. We have a scrap. Or we have scrap. We'd be happy to pay you for the ride. Children come from the bowels of hell, <laughs> and with the proper love of a parent, can be turned to good. So says the prophecy. Uh, <laughs> I must be out either. I don't know. I don't know enough about children. I once was one, but that's about as far as I know with children. Uh, oh, okay. Ask a specialist to talk to the children. Well, that's probably going to be a good option. So, go for it. Go specialist. Lieutenant, talk to these children. I think they might be hiding something. On it, sir. Hello, hello. Who are you? I'm your liaison officer. I'm a, I'm a here to help you and the other children transition to life on board in his Odysseus. Odysseus. Good. So he's going to let us on ship. Everything is going according to plan. I'm so sorry to hear about all you've been through. Just terrible. Good news is the NS Odysseus is tolerant of all ways of thinking. Hmm, great, I guess. It is great. Personally, I believe the armies are the true gods and wait for the devout in the Garden of Light and Metal. You do? Oh yes. And though my heathen shipmates don't share the same connection, conviction, still, they are respectful of my beliefs. Get off the ship. What? I said get off the ship and tell the other believers to do the same. But leave the others behind, they will bathe in the fires. Do you understand me, fellow believer? I understand. I'll tell them immediately. Praise the Omnigards. Praise the Omnigards. Psychotic children. Now, are you loyal or are you. <laughs> have you actually turned? Okay. Sir, I've just spoken to the child captain. It seems they have something planned for the ship. What do you mean? I'm not sure, sir. Suffice it to say, it's something bad. Something definitely bad. Ooh. Kill them. Kill the children. Ozu, signal code red. Oh. Uh... I don't remember his voice from... Oh! Cold Red! Uh, hang on. I am... 
Lieutenant Ozu, Code Red, sir, what for? We're going to attack their ship. No more than that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was, we're going to attack their ship. No more than that. It's not, it's, we're going to attack their ship. No, more than that. We're going to destroy them. Sure, you feeling all right? These sweet, innocent children were planning on attacking us, Lieutenant. Then we take them as prisoners, sir. I have the feeling they ain't, ain't the kind to let you. You're not going to let us on your ship, are you, Admiral? You lied to me. Smart, Admiral. We wanted to get on that battleship to hurt you. But since we can't do that, we'll just have to do the next best thing. Destroy your ship in battle. Death to all Imperials. Praise the Omni Gods. I've ambushed the enemy. Yes. Superb stuff. I wonder if I could have just left or whether they'd have always attacked me. Because I, I feel like I might be a little bit of a bastard attacking the children, but... Eh, I can live with that level of bastard. Uh, that's a cruiser? Okay. Well, I want something good against frigates. But I don't think I've got anything... I think cruisers are outside of my... So drones are good against frigates, but yeah. So... Cruisers are new, and not within the weakness to strength ratios that I am used to. So, drone flash. Drone flash. Whoa! Saviour of the drone -averse. And then, I guess we've got all our weapons, don't we? So, piercer lasers. Uh, what is that? Anti-battleship battery. Concerning. I might need to deal with that. So we'll put a laser on that. And then we'll pop a major hole blast to the hull. My whatever that was. Hole breaker laser. Makes sense to do it on the hull. Now we just have to sort of Oh. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. Oh I think they just Oh no, they didn't. Uh, oh no, they are! They're freezing my ships. Somehow, some way, they are freezing my ships. Although, actually, having said that, that one's just sort of drone tech that's doing stuff. What is that? That's the cruiser. Okay, let's... Maybe I should have focused my fire on the cruiser, after all, because the cruiser is apparently being nasty. You've just gone after my weapons, you absolute cock. I'll make my weapons invulnerable for a moment and then go after that battery again, because I feel like the battery needs to be taken down, but the cruiser's not exactly... Uh, it's not exactly optimal that cruiser's just being allowed to sort of punish me something drastic there. Uh, what is that? That's a frigate. They're drones, so go on the frigates. Hull eradication cannon, go! Oh, my hull eradication cannon did very little. This is alarming. Good, the cruiser is now dead. Let's deal with that battery. Focus on the battery at this point, I think. Pew. Uh, we've got our Pew 6 gun. Again, I just want that battery done and dusted, methinks. Uh, you guys... Uh, yeah, okay, so you, you've done your bender drive. What are you? Your drones. That's less than optimal that my drones are going to be going against your drones, but I do sort of want you to try and get the fuck back out here. Uh, seven... On my drones, make them invulnerable for a moment. That should allow them to win. Unfortunately, immediately. Oh uh, yeah, okay, my drones are dead. All right, good, excellent. Uh, nope, they 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 are now dead, dead. Uh, that's superb. Now I just need all my cannons back online uh, for actual doings. Because this one, they've 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 taken the kid gloves off. I think, which is inconvenient to say the least. But nonetheless, a fact. So what are you now? You're now a cruiser and... Oh, you, you've got double cruisers. Okay, so... Strictly speaking, it doesn't matter. So I suppose we'll, we'll pop a fighter out. Right, okay. Platform dead, which is sort of what I wanted. And now intercept the cruiser with my fire haters. Of course, if they've got fancy guns, I'm not going to be able to do that. Intercept the cruiser. Uh, okay, my weapon systems are okay. Let's... 
think just... Okay, so they are absorbing my pew-pews. Okay, this is going to take a little bit more concentration and thinking, methinks. Okay, no, this is... I think this might be just straight up death. Because they are slightly more potent than I was going to give them credit for. I think, though, we can get the whole cannon in good. Right. But we are having to sort of... Yeah, we need you to sort of break through. I just need you to get rid of... No, okay, fine, you're dead. Excellent. Because I'm having to shoot them twice to do any damage, which is not optimal for the situation I find myself in. Because I now have to have all of my weapons basically online. So we'll have you try and sort of scoot on over there. And the plan... Will you stop with the ice cannon? Absolutely unnecessary and absolutely ball baggish. Right. Absorption. Death. I think. Do I have to deal with the little ones as well? Oh, shit in hell. No, it's got another hole. Of course it's got another hole. Oh. Okay. This... Yep, yeah, they're, they're diddling me. They're diddling me out of any kind of victory now. They decided that I was to die. And now I have very little choice regarding the whole death thing. Uh, drones, you had a frigate. I think you're putting your frigate away. In fact, you do seem to keep having three of these units out, which is irritating. At this point, if I can slide you into place... Oh, apart from the fact that now I've got drones attacking my squadron's bay, which is not great news. Oh, this is all thoroughly falling apart. Uh, not incredibly good. Get those... Oh, it's... oh bollocks! Take out the anti-fighter guns. I wish I did have anti-fighter guns, but I don't seem to have anything anymore. And they've got every toy in the world. And so I am distinctly losing this fight. When battleship systems sustain damage, the level of heat in that system increases. Once the heat gauge is full, the system will sustain a critical effect. That will decrease its efficiency or start a fire. Your battleship has sustained a critical effect. You will need to deploy an officer in that system to repair it. Be careful, when a critical effect is sustained, all officers in the system will receive one damage. Oh, excellent. Okay, well, I suppose... No? I, I'm, I'm assuming... Are you able to just do that because you are there? Or do I have to click that button? Because withdraw is not what I want. But you, I do already have an officer in that area. And you two are, it would seem, all automatically doing your business as well. Um, so I think I think the officers are just doing what they're told to do. But unfortunately, uh, can we? Can we? Uh, yes! Terrible things are happening. Stop fucking telling me. Most battleships, including yours, have compartmentalized hull that will make them more resistant to destruction. Hull bars represents the health of your battleship. And I've lost one. Each hull bar has a certain amount of health. Once depleted, the hull bar is destroyed, and the next, if any, takes over. Hull bars will be repaired for free by your mechanics, as long as they haven't been destroyed. Well, unfortunately, my hull bar has been destroyed, so fuck you, game. Fuck you and your donkey, too. Uh, what is that fucking... What are you doing? What is happening? Why is there a wibbly? Stop wibbling my stuff. Hull cannon. Destroy. What I, what I need is to get more stuff onto their hull. At least a chunk. I don't know what that fucker's doing. So he should be able to get... Oh! With the fucking icy shite cannon. Icy shite cannon. There we go, there we go. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Now, I mean, it's dead. That's fine. 
you'll have to just remain dead. And now, theoretically, oh, I suppose actually, just double whammy, there we go, done. So I lost a hull, I had a shitload of damage on my fighters, but I did get 98 scrap, and I did murder all the children. And I think, all said and done, murdering all of the children is crucial to success. Not all children are like that, are they? Yeah, I think I think you'll find it's it's a it's generally agreed that all children should probably be murdered. It's fine. Uh, additional whole structures. Yes, we've lost one, but now I've gained one because of the whole doing it. That's fine. Uh, weapon support. I don't really have another officer to put in the weapon support, so I don't necessarily need another open slot. I don't think. Uh, recovery. Okay. Yes. Yes. And now I might save up again. Because I think I might want that. Yeah, I think I'm going to want more. More squadrons available at any given time. Scavenge the Neon. Oof. Only two, but two is good enough, I suppose. And now let's wander around the local star system and see what other trouble we can get into. Uh, ideally, not a huge amount, because... <laughs> fuck. That battle really... That... <sighs> It's one of those ones where, last week, it was all fun and games. Now we've entered the area of the game where the game is now viciously trying to take you down. Small civilian transport vessel, sir. Please, don't attack me. There's an Imperial ship, Captain. If you're a friend of the Empire, you're a friend to us. Oh, I assure you, uh, we are. The Empire was, uh, I mean, has always been good to us. Very good. Where are you headed? Travelling somewhere, Captain? We're trying our planet. They're not far from here. We were attacked by scrappers, terrible, vicious, hideous creatures. Thankfully, we managed to escape now. We're simply trying to find the new way home and arrive there in one piece. Technically, a new home, yeah. And where will this new home be? Anywhere that's safe, Admiral. Any moon or planet where we can live without fearing for our lives. Even a trash planet if not too revolting, would serve our purposes fine. Offer some Neo-N? I mean, that sounds like a nice thing to do, but... I might do that, because it's pleasant. But first... Hello, 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 Mr. Chester Phoenix, welcome to the stream. It, it's, it's off to a rocky start. We've already lost a hull, and all of my fighters are damaged, because I tried to murder children. And it turns out, the children didn't want to be murdered. Uh, but when all was said and done, I would like to just point out, it did, in fact, murder the children. Please, as a friend of the Empire, take some of our Neo Air to assist you on your journey. Thank you, Admiral, you are very generous, but we have all the Neo N we need. Your pride prevents you from taking it. I suppose you could say that, yes. These are not times to be proud for, Captain. I mean, if you don't want it, I'll keep it. And if he's got plenty, I'll take his. I'm not prideful. These are not times to be prideful, Captain. Not if you wish to see this new home and keep your passengers safe. Please, take it. It is yours. Thank you, Admiral. Please accept this as a good show of thanks. It takes up too much space in our cargo, and hopefully we won't need it where we're going anyway. Ooh! Space Bender! <laughs> I've got a bender! If that's the event you're thinking of, those, those children deserve to be murdered. Yes, well, I had a specialist investigate, and I'm fairly confident in the fact that, yes, they did deserve to be murdered. Uh, so, I'm assuming Space Bender... Space Bender! Is, in fact, one of these, yeah. And that's intriguing. Any object. But I can't deny, the invulnerability cannon is quite... I mean... When I use it efficiently... It's quite useful, but I must admit, it's not... Uh, I suppose we'll keep the invulnerability cannon for now, but I can see the, the benefits of the bender. Space bender! Uh, <laughs> um, so I might consider it. We don't think that shield gun was in at launch. Possibly not. Anything based on the launch, I cannot comment on, because I have... You know, I literally started it last week. I think you were, you were present when I started it last week. Uh, oh god, why is everybody dying? 
<sighs> so safe, but I'll lose lots of commandos and very little resources, so very worthless. That, I mean, Maximus, he's not terrible. At least he will collect some resources, but I do feel like this one's just not worth it. Just not worth the, the risk. I'm exceedingly risk averse. Mostly because the rewards don't tend to outweigh the risk and there's plenty more shit to kill me, I'm sure. Got R&D for you, sir. Uh, um, th 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 uh, to complain. I hate to complain, even. I have to, but I do hate to complain. But we're, 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 we're twiddle our thumbs down here. We're looking for a bit of a direction. Uh, anything in particular you'd like us to work on? I mean, like, uh, anything? Ooh! I mean, hardening the hole does seem like a good idea. Hello there. Hello there to you. Still enjoying this, I see. I, uh, enjoy is a strong word at this point. Hello there. Hello there to you as well, General Blue Bush and General Skin Rolls. No, I, I genuinely, I am enjoying it. It just kicked the shit out of me moments ago, so... Uh, I'm I'm down to limited limited squadrons. They're all patched, and uh, I lost a hull because I tried to murder children. But I stand by. Murdering children was the correct option, as it is in all scenarios. Right. Uh, I intended to get another squadron because I feel like the weapons I've got feel good enough. The squadrons I've got are okay, but I'm wondering if it might get me a nice one. I, I don't know how this system is working. Is it just going to be, we've built you a bog standard basic one here, or is it a random chance for something great? But then hardening the hole. I'm not 100% sure on what hardening the hole is going to do. I'm sort of maybe thinking it's going to repair that, but then... Would it say repair? Uh, build a squadron. I think. Oh, like that's a safe option. Think you can build me another squadron? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure we can. But, but we're gonna need a fair amount of scrap to do it. We're good, but we're not that good. Still interested? Uh, give them the go ahead. Yeah, I can afford a little bit of extra scrap there. Harden the hole gives each hole bar more health. Oh, that would have been quite good. Oh, well, never mind. Think you can get them to me soon? Uh, absolutely, sir. Then I suggest you get started. But yes, we've welcomed Mr. Skink and Mr. Chester. Welcome. How are you doing? And what are you doing? You don't want anything interesting. Uh, so, so, so. Your squadron is ready. Uh, I feel useful again. Praise overall. Uh, Frigate Mark Free. What a coincidence. It's the Magneto. I mean, what the shit. For those of you who joined after Mr. Blue Bush, He's having a. He's looking at his Magneto in despair, um, as in the X Men character for Marvel Crisis Protocol. But it's it's nonetheless. I mean, what are the odds? I'm building Magneto on my desk, and then suddenly, lo and behold, the Magneto turns up in game. A bizarre one. But yes, our Magneto's good. I will take your word for it, and we shall soon find out. Let's see what they've... I mean, they're definitely better than anything else here. Plus, you can sort of see... That's why I'm slightly tempted to use the Space Bender over this thing. Now, Mr. Tentacles does get in the way slightly. I'll let you off, because you're semi-useful. But nonetheless, that's got a very low ranking... I don't know if they're... I mean, I've got no reason to think they're not just straight-up military ranks. Uh... But they're certainly designed to look like it if they are not actual military ranks. And so, you know, like your basic bog standard frigate here. I don't know what that's going to be. I think Free Stripes is a sergeant, but I don't know Free Stripes and a pip. Uh, I don't know what a one stripe is. No, I don't. I was going to say maybe sergeant. But truth be told, I don't know if a sergeant is higher or lower than a pair. Um... And you get nothing in this game if you draw privates. No, anyway. But yeah, uh, certainly, visually, it's going to be quite good. Because it's a high-ranking doodah. Uh, so all your enemy units able to target this unit are forced to do so. And all adjacent enemies cannot move. Ooh. Interesting. I don't necessarily know about the idea of it 
everything targeting it, but it's a, in fairness, it's a chunky motherfucker. But all the frigates seem to be relatively chunky compared to most of the others, but still. And it cancels being stunned. I don't know precisely what that means. I'm going to loosely assume that if it is stunned, it gets out of stun? I can't say that for certainty, but we'll go with that logic for now. Doing okay. Waiting to go out in a bit for, to watch the football. Football, football, football. I mean, truth be told, I, I couldn't care less about the football, but the fact that you're going out to see it sounds lovely. Is that as in going out, like, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a pub. It could be a friend. It could be a, something else. But is that like going out to a pub, watching it on a screen, or sort of more full-on going to the game? Nice. Very nice. As I say, I, ha I hold no real love of football, uh, but, you know, it's nice to know you're enjoying going to games. It's very good. <laughs> it sounded so fucking patronising, didn't it? <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Whenever I try and say something sincere, it comes out as either sarcastic or patronising. So, <laughs> I do hope you enjoy it, though. Um... The heavy nuke. I mean, who doesn't want a heavy nuke? I must admit, me on this occasion, because as much as it's good, it has no effects on the battleship hull. Which I kind of... I don't know. I might be approaching it wrong. But I do sort of like the idea of trying to just focus on the hull and fucking the mop. More! The Mark IV frigates that time. Uh, this time, rather. Decaying fields, auto shields. Ooh. Ooh, that is temptation. Temptation. Higher and higher. Do we got any shit I can sell? I mean, possibly one of my bog standard fighters. If I sell that, I might be able to sort of push in. Push in and get a, get the new high ranking fighter. I mean, I've got the money to buy the high-end fighter anyway. It's it's just more trying to keep the funds up. Because you never know when I'm going to want some scrap. And I'm trying to get up to that extra squadron bay. But, yeah, okay. I think I'm satisfied by that decision. I'm going to sell that and buy the fancy fighter. And, you know, just in case, I am going to buy one extra piece of fuel. Because, you know, I, I like to be certain about things. We've already visited, so it's on to the star map. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of wanted to head towards the quest. So, let's go questing. Incoming alert. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Wait, what? No, that's just the standard travelling. Cool. I was slightly concerned. I thought they were sort of doing some kind of the, the bastards had caught up with me and I was thinking no they're I've not done anything that would allow them to catch up but it was just the engines kicking in at the time uh, what kind of battleship is this this is an imperial ship the NS Odysseus yeah I thought so you're too late too late for word I don't remember having an appointment they took our men admiral scrappers rotten smelling scrappers they took them took them now they've probably made them their playthings. Uh, would you like some help? I can't help myself. I have to ask for if they need assistance. How can we help you? I think you already know. By letting us join your ship. By letting us fight scrapper scum beside you. But you have combat experience. You don't need experience when you have this kind of bloodlust. Killing scrapper scum. It's all I think about. What I dream about. Hmm... What does my crew think? Are you in agreement? Crew, what do we think? A bunch of badass women who want to fight for us. Uh, is there really a downside? I know it's a shit impression of Kirk, but it is nonetheless an impression of Kirk. And it's become weirdly appropriate with his opinion there. A bunch of badass women. Hell yeah. Uh, they could uh, be agents. We don't know. He's gone northern suddenly. I don't think he was northern last week. Don't listen to Hawks. He's just afraid of women, sir. Actually, I'm afraid of everything. 
We want to fight by your side, Admiral. Well, Hawk says no. Ozu says yes. I'm going to say yes, but I may end up having to sell you immediately, but we'll see. Or it's, of course, a trap and it's going to fuck me over, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in a moment. You made a smart choice, Admiral. No one will fight harder or more bravely for you. Now, come on, let's find us some scrappers to squash. Oh, just nine marines. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, still might screw me later, although I think they're all encased. I don't know that for certain, but I think all of the things are in, encompassed in the one area. So you, it's not going to suddenly bite me two planets down the line. It might. I'm still not 100% certain of that. But nonetheless, that's my theory at the moment. So let's go do a quest or complete a quest. I don't know if this is a quest I previously had and I just lost track or this is going to be a brand new quest. Here we are, sir. There's a supposed location of Neon and Child. What do we do? Send a message to the station, Lieutenant. Ready when you are, sir. This is Admiral Idaho of the NS Odysseus. I have come seeking... <laughs> so, uh... Orcs, turn off the radio. I've come. I need to clean up. Uh, I have come see I can't help myself. It's a natural instinct. I have come seeking the wisdom of the Neo N child. Incoming transmission. Admiral Idaho. I've been expecting you. Welcome to my station. I am the 21st neo -in child of these sectors. The Silent Sisters have ground some neo -in, and I have snort snorted its mystical blue powder. Visions fill my mind even now as we speak. You have come seeking answers. You have come. <laughs> I told you not to broadcast that bit. Is this very Dune? I don't know. Although, yeah, I think, yeah, they do sort of sniff bits. I don't know much about Dune. I do sort of look forward to the new film. You never know, I might end up sort of trying to track down the books. I say track them down. They're not going to be difficult to find, are they? Let's be honest. Go on, what questions do you have? Where's Mother? Where is she, child? Where is... Mother! You will find Mother near the folder in the deepest sector of this cluster. She has positioned her warship there in hopes of one day entering other clusters. Her ambitions go far beyond the sectors. Uh, June is a magic spice that does everything from de-ages you to allow you to see the future. Okay. I vaguely recall hearing mention of the idea of spice, but I did not know about the de-aging and seeing the future part. It would be best to avoid her, Admiral. And why is that? Because she'll kill you. Many people have tried, and so far, they've mostly failed, although I am a clone of the original Captain uh, Admiral, so someone succeeded. Shit, I've undermined my own argument in my own head. Cock, I've lost all confidence in the mission, we're going home. More powerful, more painful even. These are the words of the neo end. You have other questions still. Who or what da uh, who or what da uh, do da 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 do? Because I'm so high on drugs, I understood exactly what you said. There is a lonely girl with no face. You met her. Yet you didn't. She is everyone. And she is no one. It was she who used the key. And yet search as you will. You will never find the lonely girl. Because if you find the lonely girl, she'll no longer be lonely. Oh. I'm now watching my fingers move. They make pretty patterns in the sky. Oh, for space, it's cold and dark. And the screams within go unheard. 
These are the words of the Neo in. What does she mean? I, I don't know, Lieutenant. I tuned out after the first couple of sentences. You have other questions still. If I did a sexy dance, could I turn the Omnis back on? We know that to save the people of these sectors, we must reactivate the Omnis, but how? Mm, it is uncertain if that is possible, but first, the scattered child must become whole again. And Captain Admiral, you're an Admiral, I believe. Keep thinking you're a Captain, but you're an Admiral. Remember, believe in yourself. Uh, if you try hard enough, you can make me whole again. That was very long-winded for one tiny punchline based on two words. If that condition is met, and only if, the air can receive the final answers beyond the far end. I don't know if I want answers up my far end. Uh, the scattered child, the answers beyond the far end, I don't understand. I am only a voice for the words of the new end. I cannot also translate their meaning for you. But is there nothing else you can say? Only one more thing. Which is going to be amusing, because you can only say one more thing, and yet I think I've got one more question. Travel to the end of the cluster and speak to Mother. She can provide you with additional information. That is, if she doesn't kill you first. I'm afraid you do not know all you need to know to begin your journey. These are the words of the neo -en. You have other questions. May I speak to a silent sister? Are you shitting me? Is that a genuine question, Ellis? How do you plan on communicating with a silent sister? I think the clue is in her name. She's not going to talk back to you. There you go. I can't help but think there was a certain level of kind of absolute fucking bellend gesture from the small child as he asked the question, can I speak to the silent sister? <sighs> Genuinely slightly peeved at that level of incompetence from an admiral. I realised technically I didn't have to ask the question. It just, I don't know. <sighs> the fact that it even exists annoys me. They have no tongues. Mother, remove them. You have other questions still? No. No, I've realised my stupidity in asking you questions. So I think I'm going to stop doing that. I have no more questions for you. It's just as well the effects of the drug are wearing off. Admiral, we just, we must try to save her. She's just a child. You gotta head off now? Well, enjoy your football, and I hope uh, your team of choice wins. <laughs> Such a non committal statement. But uh, yes, goodbye, Mr. Chester Phoenix. Enjoy the football, the ball of feet. That'd be disgusting, wouldn't it? If it was actually a ball made of feet. And you just kick that around. And can you imagine if the feet actually were able to move and grip? That'd make it very strange, wouldn't it? You just grab onto the grass and you, you give it a boot, but it goes, No, nope, no, I've grabbed onto the grass this time. And every now and again, if it, go, if, it gets, if it rotates to the right sort of side, there'll be two feet together. And uh, they'll, the players will come in after it and it will sprint off. And you have to track down, you have to chase down the ball alongside playing regular football. Very strange. Do not try to save me. I occupy this position by choice. I get all the drugs the body can handle. Does not allow for that. A cancer rapidly spreads throughout my body. I feel it everywhere. And yet, I have been fortunate in my 11 years. I've been tripping off my tits for all of them. Great truths of startling beauty and also wretched darkness. But tell me something, Admiral. Yes. What is it like? What do you mean? The Omni on your ship. But how did you... May I see him? They shut down long before I was born. I have heard stories and am most curious. Yes, there he is. I don't understand. This is, is what all the fuss is about. These are the machines who were worshipped as gods. She seems kind of disappointed. Can you do some tricks, Caliban? I wish you luck, Admiral, and many battleship weapons. In Mother's sectors, you'll find both are needed. 
End of transmission, sir. All right. Well, we did it. We investigated the woman. A star map. So, but yeah, we're only re well. I suppose technically we could go up there and out and round, but I I think just the direct path. We'll go for the direct approach, because otherwise we may run out of time. because uh, we're being chased, sir. A civilian ship drifting dangerously close to that sun. Can you make contact, Lieutenant? Trying, sir. Sir, that's a negative. There comes our compromise. Strong sub interference. Chances are the chances there are still people still alive on board. Clem, sir, if they haven't succumbed from the heat, then the heavy dose of helium and hydrogen ions have definitely killed them. Oh I have to do the right thing. Captain, do a flyby with a small team. Tell me what you see as soon as you see it. Already on our way, sir. Sir, we're coming up on the ship. There's a large Neo end spill around it, and a big hole in the hull. Looks like they were on the wrong end of a skirmish. Any survivors? That's a negative, sir. I can see them through the windows now. Dead as can be. Cooked, sir. Cooked real good. Ooh. I mean, I can ask. What's your opinion? Any chance you can haul it back into the hangar bay, Lieutenant? The dead still inside, sir. I wouldn't ask unless we really needed it. Sorry, sir, but we're cooking as it is. Any longer we'll be burnt beyond recognition, too. Then come back at once, Captain. On our way, sir. Well, that was uh, nothing, but I suppose we can scavenge the near. Or we can do very little scavenging of Neo. Disappointing that that one didn't get anywhere. I suppose, in fairness, that is the bonus meter, isn't it? But still a shame. Do -do -do -do. Right, so... I feel like at this point it might be best to just go after the anomaly first. Because if it is something negative, we can get it out of the way and then maybe rebuild later. Scrap the battleship! Destroying ships distracts me from my painful mutations. Battle is imminent. Okay, well, a good conversation. That's a good conversation. Right, okay, let's see. Uh, you're going to be drones, fighters, fighters. So, my fighter is good against your drones. And my frigate's going to be good against your fighters, I believe. Am I remembering that correctly? Yes. Yes, I am. But, I'm going to have a slight problem with the whole um, they have a drone lurking around, so once my cannon is online, it might be worthwhile trying to tackle so that's the frigates, that's the fighter so if I have my frigate I'm wondering if maybe play it slightly defensively on this occasion so what are you? You're the drones. Now what do you do? You're good against frigates, okay. So I want my fighters to intercept your drones. And then I'll have... And by when I said play it slightly defensively, I did mean slightly defensively. Uh, oh, there was two drones there. They were just, uh, two fighters there. They were just merged together, it would seem. It's fine. I'm not that fussed by that, but... It did seem... Fight back, good. Uh, right, we've got our regular cannon. Regular flavoured cannons, sir. Uh, what have you got? A flak cannon. Ooh, okay. Concerning, but slow. I've got a concerning but slow. <laughs> Hello, my name's Concerning But Slow. Uh, that's drones, so we'll try and get the fighters in there. That's fighters, so we can probably keep the frigates out for at least a little bit longer. Enemy weapon is ready to fire. Well, that's inconvenient, but first thing we're going to... Well, uh, when are you firing? Yup, oh, okay. I don't know. I may be too late on that one. Invulnerable! That's what we like to see and hear. Do, 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 do. Hey. 
You little shits. Okay, I think you... You could really do with... Uh, getting out of there. Uh, I'm going to use my baby cannon to try and eradicate you. If we can just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Uh, now, yes, yes. Fighter engage that. Seven that. So that hopefully maybe he can actually get out of there. We're going to want more frigates. Uh, unfortunately, I've only got the patched frigates now, so... I guess patched frigates it is. But we do have the hull cannon, which can do a fair chunk of change. And because he hasn't actually got any defense... Uh, my six cannon... Can just finish him off. Superb. Oh, and I've got Shard Suzuki. Well, unfortunately, Shard... I've got a distinctly nasty feeling you're being sold. Because I don't know... Oh! I can't even sell this one. I have to just ditch them. Okay, that's unfortunate. Ooh! You have a very good ability, Shard. Sorry, previously existing crew members. You're a fighter and a pilot. Could be considered a fighter pilot. Yeah, it looks like he's a hull boy. He's a hull boy! Uh, Maximus. Ooh, no, I can't get rid of Maximus. Uh, oh, I feel like I can't get rid of Benjamin either, but... Oh, Maximus is doing it! Maximus has exactly that ability. Oh, shit. And Maximus is just better. Fuck, I... I mean, I've not been noticing him doing that. Good man. You really do pay so much attention. But, uh, I don't know. <sighs> Is that going to stack? Well, having said that, I think he has to go in the hole slot. I don't, I don't, if I put him in the weapons bay, I don't think that would make a difference. And Benjamin has the ability to restore health. Yeah. No, I think Shard, sorry mate, but you're going to be dropped off immediately. I wasn't expecting to have you, so we'll stick with not having you. Do do uh we'll un uninstall that thing. Uh right, well there's there's nothing identified, so there's nothing suggesting which planet I want to go to first. Well, this one has a ship on it, so an Imperial ship? I was wondering when one of you might show up. I have something that'll interest you. Uh, what, what do you have? Um, what would that be? Oh, just a Kosh transponder. Why would I be interested in that? Because a Kosh transponder will provide a certain invisibility in the presence of other Kosh battleships. Useful if, say, a certain Kosh battleship around here was carrying a small mountain scrap, which I know to be the case. But you'll need a good spy to access the Kosh ship and boost the scrap. Otherwise, it's going to be impossible. Oh, and you'll have to cut me in, of course. Say, 20%? No, 25. 25 or I'll walk. Ooh, I do have a spy. Fuck it, let's do the job. Let's do the job. We'll do it. You'd be a phone or two, sending over the transponder. Don't worry, I'm sending the instruction manual too. And the battleship coordinates. Good luck, Admiral. Old uh, Lieutenant Bam Bam. Uh, the transponder's hooked up and ready to go, sir. Sir, I've got the coordinates for the Kosh battleship on my way now. I mean, in fairness, that, that battleship, I think, has possibly been there the whole time, hasn't it? <laughs> sir, the mission went off without a hitch. The Kosh transponder allowed us to get close enough so I could sneak in and grab the scrap. She wasn't kidding. It's a small fortune indeed. Ooh, how, how big a small fortune? Or how small a f big fortune? Nice work, Admiral. Now where's my share? Oh, 97 scrap. I mean, it's it's a tolerable amount, but I wouldn't necessarily go as far as to say it was a small fortune. I've seen bigger fortunes. Let's put it that way. A damaged shipping container, sir. I've 
Down a quick scan, Admiral, there appears to be a spherical object among the wreckage with an unusual signature. What kind of tech are we talking about here, machine? Doesn't appear to belong to any of the major houses, Admiral. Naturally, we could retrieve and further examine... I suppose I would put forth that should be examined, but I'm assuming possibly it's a correct but not often used variation, perhaps. Because otherwise we're just going to sit it down and ask it to fill in a fucking, you know, exam sheet. I was trying to, a uh, test sheet, I suppose, quiz sheet that day. I was trying to go for a synonym of exam, so that as to not repeat the word exam. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't get there. It's fine. Bring it in, Lynch. If this tech can help us, we need to have it on our ship. We're on our way, sir. Did we get it? Sir, we have the object. Spooky thing. Spherical, like Caliban said, and black, sir. Blackest thing I've ever seen. Looks like it can be opened. Kind of hard to explain, but it looks like it wants you to open it. You want to do that back on the ship, right? Assuming you want to do that at all. Oh, I mean, I need to know what's inside the sphere. Bigelow, put RMD on this immediately. I want to know what's inside this thing. Recto Esther. We've opened the sphere, sir. And? Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. There's some unknown tech that we could scrap. And a small, perfectly cubed box. A cube within a sphere. It's almost like whoever is behind this is taunting us. We can try to open the cube too if you'd like. Or play it safe and just take the scrap. <gasps> I want to know what's in the cube! <laughs> this is going to end so badly, I know. But I have to know what is in the cube. You can't just give me a cube and expect me not to open the cube. We've come this far, let's open the cube too. We're playing with fire if you ask me, sir. Which you uh, obviously haven't. Oh god, has the ship exploded? No, I think we're all alive at the moment. Oh. Oh. I think it may have shredded some of my fuel, question mark? I don't know. I'm back, sir. Bad news. Inside the cube was an aggressive nanobot tech. Once released, it quickly targeted and attacked our nearest tech. The squadron's in the hangar bay, sir. Luckily, we've contained the nano, put it down, but there's been extensive squad damage. Lynch will not be happy. Should we have... Guess we should have left this strange tech alone, huh? But, uh... Oh, Christ, they've been wrecked. And they're my fucking good ones. Both my particularly good ones have been absolutely wrecked by a nanobot. Bastards. Absolute bastards. They drew me in with a cube. Oh, have we got... Oh, we've been there. Oh, I've been everywhere. Right. I've been everywhere, son. I've been everywhere. I was going to say, army depot. That would be quite useful. Especially before the big nasty. So hopefully we can... I'm assuming I can probably travel back to the army depot if I do bypass it, but still. Got Captain Lean for you, sir. Sir, I hope you don't mind, but I've been talking to R&D about building a Neuro Commando virtual program. Thanks to some Kosh tech we picked up a while back, they think it's possible and it could really bump up our commando numbers. I mean, in fairness, our commando numbers are pretty fucking high anyway. Of course, no guarantees here, sir. It would require scrap and still might not churn out killing machines. Uh, I Meaning good soldiers, good soldiers. To be honest, at this point, I think I want to kick the scrap. Sorry, Captain, but I'm afraid I have to pass on the training program. I understand, sir. Maybe some other time. The crew members I was looking at, they probably weren't killer material anyway. Eh? Scavenge. I was going to say, I really need that one to be quite good, because I am running low on fuelingtons. Uh, well, before we go to the shop, let's deal with that. Although, having said that, I am still running out of fuelingtons. So I might have to go to the shop early to make sure I don't run out of fuelingtons. Just grab a brown ship, 12 o'clock. Big tech I know. I've been dreaming of this. Okay, well, we're just fighting them, man. Find the man. It would be very helpful if you had some scrapper technology. An EMP? Ooh. And, oh, whoa, 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 sorry. I, I, uh, 
Now, does that actually... I suppose... Mm. Alright, it doesn't feel like it's going to do anything. It's fine. Uh, drone, fighter, drone. Okay. So we want something good against drones, ideally. Which is very much the fighters. And if that's a fighter, what we might do is double down on fighters. Double down on my fighters. Uh, at which point, hopefully, the fighter... Okay, you are doing something. What are you doing? And he, I, I suppose it's called an EMP tower. It's doing an EMP. But that just makes me wonder. If I dislodge my shield cannon after all. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. That's, uh, I'll install the bender and hope for the best. Something of interest is going to happen. Well, I just lost one of my blasted ships, so... Anyway, I suppose we'll try and get another fighter out to defend myself, but... Okay, they are they are doing stuff. They are doing stuff, they're doing things. Oh, your drones are actually ex bomb some kind of bombardment drone, aren't they? They are exploding as I kill them. This is inconvenient. But for now, what we'll do is just, I think, double bombard on the hull. Uh, unfortunately, we've lost all of my ships, but we do have the Bender Cannons, which means that... Oh, no, okay. Wait. Do I not have to... Oh! Oh, that's not so good, is it? Oh! Oh, no, that's awful. Oh, I'm selling that fucking thing. I thought I could tactically place. I didn't read it properly, which is so often the way, but... Yeah, if I could, if I could teleport it to where I want it to go. Well, I suppose arguably I could teleport their ships away from me, but still, I think in, on this occasion the force field is probably the better choice. Uh, right, so... It's very difficult because my ships are just getting the shit kicked out of them. There are frigate... Uh, there are fighters on the way, so frigates might not necessarily go amiss, but... Uh, no, okay, this is problematic. Uh, that's... Oh, okay, well, they, they died quicker than I expected them to die. Get the six going. That's it. With a bit of luck, I think that's his last hole. So in the next couple of... Oh! Uh, I mean, you are giving me fuel, so... <sighs> what are the odds I get something better if I just ki kill them? Uh, I'll take the fuel. Go on. You get to walk away on this day. But next time, I will smite you. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's do Evilis next, and then go on to the other one. Appears to be an Omni Factory planet, Admiral. What kind of planet is this? As its name suggests, this is a planet where Omnis were manufactured in enormous factories. Planets like this could be found in virtually every sector before the shutdown. Depending on the Omni quota established by Oberon, a certain number of Omnis would be produced in those factories, then shipped to their respective destinations. Of course, the distribution and production of positronic chips, which, as you know, contain the Rubicon, was more closely guarded. And where were the chips made? The positronic chips were only produced in the Terminus Cluster in the Telos Dominion. They were built in the Fishner Chip Emporium, fried and then delivered via Space Courier. This was done by design to give Oberon more control over chip production and distribution. Essentially, if you wanted a positronic chip, the brain of an Omni, you had to travel to Terminus to get it. This always irritated the other houses. Do you want me to refresh your memory on something? Remind me about the quota, Caliban. So, as to maintain perpetual harmony in the Empire, Oberon created and enforced an Omni Quota, depending on the house and whether it was a minor or major. It received a certain number of chips every ten years. Who received the most chips? Oh, I remember, oh, I remember this one. No, I remember that one. Uh, okay, I think actually I know all that information. I do remember most of those. I know enough about chips. Uh, yes, communicate with the planet. Why not? Lieutenant, see if you can make contact. On it, sir. No luck, sir. What do you want to do about this planet, Admiral? 
Uh, I suppose, I mean, move on, yeah, if you like, but there is a potential for doing this. As with some of the previous ones, if, if the odds are not in my favour. Uh, ah, good man, Maximus! He is a Maximum Moose. I don't like the idea of losing two commandos, but it's it's odds I can live with. Seems as I do have a plentiful supply. I mean, I feel slightly bad saying that because it's a bit heartless. But, you know, I do technically, statistically, I have a plentiful supply of commandos. Losing two is not going to make much difference to my overall continuation. Uh, but as I say, I can only say that without caring owing to this being a video game. <laughs> Which is a beneficial way of being able to, you know, it's nice knowing I can make that distinction. Oof. Kim, Amit, Juliana. You're not doing well. Get to the back of the queue. Or get to the centre of the queue. One of the two. The Debris Cannon Mark II. Well, I don't think I enjoyed the Debris Cannon Mark I, so... I somehow suspect I've got even more fodder for the sale. Which might get me that extra... What's it? Uh, well... I do want some fuel, so I'm going to try and have you carry on. Danger avoided, good. Resource cash, marvellous. Scrap. I mean, in fairness, I do want the scrap as well, but a little bit more fuel wouldn't go amiss at this point. Because we are running on a degree of empty, but we are going to maintain running on empty, it would say. Well, I say that, I mean, I've got three left, but to me, that's empty. <laughs> That, that, that's definitely the point where I'd be going to the petrol station to fill up my car. Uh, whoosh! For the fifth time, we don't want buying your Omni books. Uh, he hung up on us, sir. What a bastard! And I'm going to visit the shop, and yeah, I'm going to sell... To be honest, yeah, the, the space bender was definitely disappointing. The catapult again, random. Oh no, it's targets for and spawns an asteroid field. Okay, that's not quite so bad, but no, I still think that's not going to be worth it. So fuck it. Whoops, I didn't mean to leave the shop, bollocks. Uh, so I can actually buy some squadrons. Uh, invisibility field. That's interesting. Damage over time, and the executioner laser. Uh, I suppose arguably... What's my current laser? This one? But that can do the hull, but it's only a tiny amount of damage. Makes me wonder if I should perhaps... Get like a sort of... But then again, I did want to do that additional dock. So I think we'll get the additional dock. And we'll pop into the shop. I think we'll we'll take both your neo fuels, and then that's pretty much it. It would seem, unless I want to sell something, but I don't know if I do. Let's just have a look at some of those prices again. Ah, uh, do some maths. Do some maths. Ah, uh, no, twenty-five is not going to get me a brand new, brand new one of them. Well, I haven't said that. Do you have a fancy drone? Yeah, you've got another fancy flash drone. Or Shredder Drones. Ooh, Shredder Drones might be quite nice. But yeah, what I might do then... Yeah, okay, I think that's a plan. Am I going to be shit out of? No, good. Because I didn't actually calculate that, so if I had been shit out of luck, I'd have been slightly miffed. But, uh... Yeah, Shredder Drones. That's sold two slightly shite drones in favour of a very good drone. Uh, but unfortunately I wasn't able to repair my sodding units, which could come back to bite me on the back side. But we shall have to wait and see, because it is the big one. The Cluster Boss. And I believe this is Mother. Hello, Mother. I've come home. It's Mother's Battleship, sir, and this cluster's fold. Er, incoming transmission. Uh, look 
Look at you and your shiny Telos battleship, so cute. As First Admiral of the Empire, in the name of Oberon, I demand. Demand? You demand nothing, Admiral. You don't know what hole you've been hiding in, but we're free now from the old man Oberon and his metallic gods. We'll restore these sectors once more to their natural state. Mother, whether you surrender or not. Whether I surrender. You are too much. Not much longer and you'll be my plaything. Can't wait to get close to you. <laughs> well, we're fighting. Whew, that is a chunky ship. That is a chunky ship. Right, let's see. So... Okay, there is some slight... Oh! Oh, interesting. By having fucked it quite so hard, I've countered Yusuf's ability. If I'm reading it and understanding it correctly, of course. I mean, granted, the two new the, the new squadron, not quite so much at this point. But nonetheless, guerrilla tactics, patch squadrons, which almost every single squadron I've faced in terms of enemy has been patched, uh, against non-patched units. Of course, all of mine are fucked, which means they don't count, which is good news. So we want something good against fighters, which was frigates, yes. So I suppose arguably we want the Magneto out. Uh, and possibly even the other one. Might need to clear those asteroids in front of my launch by. And then we want fighters. So that will do as a, an immediate tactic. Uh, what were these? That's, oh, that's my core systems and auxiliary systems. That's fine. Uh, that's a lot of hole to chew through. And what sort of weapon have you got? Oh, interesting. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Oh, that is an interesting gun. Also, you've only got one gun and it can't actually kill my ship. I suppose you're going to rely on those. Yeah. I'm assuming the tactic here is they're just going to rush, bum rush the drones at my ship and then try and blow their drones up. I don't know for certain, but we'll see soon find out I suppose but no fancy arsehole in the hole um, so hopefully that gives me an advantage right try and trash these asteroids because I think it's going to be necessary to get rid of the oh oh okay that's not what I thought fine uh, so yeah, okay the drones are coming in first and I want the Good, 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 good. And now... Uh, you intercept, and you intercept... Oh, no, you're not intercepting. You intercept. Movement locked. Magnetoed. Bitch! Oh, there, yeah, okay, that, there we go. We just discovered that cannon. And I know I knew about the cannon, and yet somehow it still came as a surprise. I realise the uh, level of stupidity on display there. But that's not 100% 100 the point. Uh, I think it's going to be quicker to try and knock that offline. And then... I don't know. I suppose let's get another fighter out. Uh, I suppose I'm going to have to try and separate my ships a little bit more. Oh, cop. That one's probably dead now. Yes, it's very much dead now. Ah, but we do have all my weapons, so let's sit seven that. Uh, is it going to be worthwhile trying to knock off their squadrons? I don't know. Bang, and uh, their squadrons are oh, looking a little less than desirable. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to try spreading out my units, otherwise that whole core clusterfuck cannon is perhaps going to be problematic. Uh, two fighters and drones. Oh yeah, we'll bring out the Magneto again. And we just need the fighters to intercept the drones, ideally, before the frigate ends up fucked. Uh, so yeah, we'll just... that'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, six, the squadrons. A little bit more. Which... Uh, okay, that 
that's fine. That's an invulnerability cannon. Uh, let's hull smash. And then hopefully we can just keep... I think we may have a degree of a holding pattern where... Just sitting in my... Sitting in my belly. Uh, or not. Or not. Oh, okay. What is this? 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 Horse shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's 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 cock. Good. Good. We've always wanted a hot, delicious cock. Right slapped in my face. Which is what the game is doing right now. Just sloppy clock. Sloppy clocks or sloppy cocks. Or poppy cocks. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's gone horribly wrong. What are you? Drones fighter. Fighters are over there, I think, aren't they? So that's a drone. So ideally, I want fighters back out. You are back in the game, so ideally... Get your ass out of here, bitch! Ah, oh, you little whore! You little whore! Uh, fighters, so get you out there. Get them. I think we need the Magneto slightly separated. And you back there. Seven. Seven the Magneto. Okay, well... This is less than optimal. The Magneto's dead. Excellent, 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 excellent. It's all going horribly tits up. It's all going horribly tits up. It was going tolerably, and then it was going tits up. So, I'm not... Okay, I suppose... We're doing a little bit there, but I don't, th I don't think targeting the... Their system is doing as much as I would like it to be doing. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's get a fighter out. I mean, basically, the, these guys are at the moment they are just kind of cannon fodder that will defend uh, meat shields essentially. Well, technically metal, I suppose, but nonetheless, they are sort of fundamentally not doing that much to the situation in hand. Yeah, I think the problem is I'm, I'm not able to do quite as much heat as would be desirable to knock systems off. That might be something worthwhile focusing on at some point. Is focusing on trying to get weapons that deal in heat. But I think... It's difficult to know for certain, of course. But I think I've got this one. Although, having said that, of course... I'm willing to be proven wrong in the not-too-distant future. Especially with the call to arms not being uh, the optimal situation. What are you bringing in? Drones. Okay. Well, I, th I think at this point we might might be worthwhile bringing in my fancy drone to at least try and counter that. Okay. No, there's damage. Okay, we've got a critical effect. Excellent. Uh, yeah, for a, for a weapon that can't actually do any hull damage, it's apparently kicking the shit out of me. Excellent. Yep. No, you really are. You are, really are sort of trundling my nuts under a rather nasty plow. And I think you might have me at a severe disadvantage here because I don't know. Oh, I've lost all of my frigate. It's everything. Just everything is gone. Which is a problem. Yeah. No. Okay. They're just chewing through my hole now. So this is, this is not great news. I suppose at this oh my weapon systems are fucked. Good, excellent, excellent. This is what we want. This has now just suddenly decided it's gonna kick the shit out of my ghoulies, and I don't really like that fact. Cause yeah they've. They just keep getting... The, oh, ho, 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 that cannon's annoying. I think maybe we need to try and knock that cannon offline, but I can't seem to do the whole knocking shit offline because I can't get anything. Uh, what are you, your drones, aren't you, you cocksuckers? I'll get my flash drones out and then just... Just need a few more shots. A few more shots is all I need. Could you please just give me the time I need? Just get me a few more weapons. It's because I'm pretty much highly reliant on the whole 
hull smasher cannon. Which is unfortunate, because with that reliance on the hull smasher cannon, everything else keeps going horribly tits up. Enemy weapon is ready to fire. Well, that is unfortunate. But luckily, I have a double tap there, and you know what? Whoosh! <laughs> yeah! Sneaky drone! I quite enjoyed that. It had a tiny bit of hull left, and those drones have that bender drive, and they just went pew pew. Hey, I'm gonna destroy you. That's funny. I always thought I'd die from near wind poison. Not the hands of an Imperial Admiral and post Imperial Universe. Finish me off, Admiral. What are you waiting for? I can ask questions. Well, go on, I might as well, I suppose. Why have you waged terror in these sectors? You have any idea what life was like here before the shutdown? The nobles were omnis. You never did care how the other 99% lived. You didn't care because we were the ones who did the dirty work. The jobs in your mines and factories that you believed were too far too beneath you and your precious beloved machines. I did those jobs, Admiral, for years, and so did my parents and their parents before them. Your mother promised us, your kind even, I read the name. Your kind promised us a chance to be rich, a chance to own an Omnifat one day, a chance to rise. Lies, nothing but lies. And all those lies were a bomb waiting to go off. That bomb went off the day the Omni shut down. I'm sorry you did not live as you dreamed, I am, but that doesn't that doesn't condone what you've done in these sectors. You're right, it doesn't. What can I say? The violence once I started, I discovered. I liked it. I killed a man and I liked it. Why did you do? Why did you do it? Why shut down the Omnis of the Outer Room? The Omnis? Ah, that's all anyone wants to talk about. Why not talk about the injustices the Empire created, the absurdity of the system that revolved around pieces of metal? Surely you remember, Admiral, that the cost of one Omni was more than a person like me, a miner, could make in a lifetime. Why don't we talk about that instead? But as much as you wanted to think I shut the Omnis down and know how to turn them back on again, I didn't. And I don't. I benefited when they crashed, yes but I didn't crash them myself. How can you expect me to believe you? A thief, an enslaver, a murderer. Believe what you want, Admiral. It makes no difference. Uh, I suppose, do you know who did, I suppose? Then tell me, Mother, if it wasn't you, who or what did shut them down? I can't say. And to be honest, I don't care. If I knew something, why would I tell you? Because we're dying, all of us, noble or not. And if we don't turn the machines on soon, it'll be too late. Maybe Sherman should die, Admiral. Every single one of us, you ever think of that. But on second thought, I would offer you a clue. I never liked them anyway. Who? Oh, the Church of Singularity, just like your kind, they too have spread lies and many false promises. The Church of Singularity? Years ago, just after the shutdown, I tortured a missionary trapped in these sectors. He told me the Church had a plan to free the Omnis. It was his opinion that they'd succeeded in doing so. Why did he tell you this? He was desperate. He thought telling me might save his life. It did not. Why would the Church of Singularity want to free the machines? I don't know, Admiral. That's for you to figure out. You have other questions. Do you know who I am? I do not Imperial, nor do I care. You have other questions. Ah, oh, fair enough. End the conversation with Mother. Surrender, Mother. You don't have to die. Not today. I might as well. The way I say it, today is as good a day as any other. So you've beaten me, and now these sectors are safe once more. Wait, I just remembered. The Omnis are still down and you're still stuck in the outer room because you don't have an Omni to use this folder. You're trapped here and you and your crew will die from starvation or disease just like everyone else. You're wrong. Imperial ships and Omnis will arrive. Mother, 
Oberon will see to it. Why, are you telling me you think there are active Omnis in clusters beyond this one? What? What do you mean? Oh, Admiral, <laughs> the Omnis have shut down everywhere, in all the clusters. I, I don't believe you. That would mean other Imperial clusters are as chaotic and violent as this one. There's going to be at least a few more, I think, because there's several more chapters. <laughs> believe it. If there were active Omnis, don't you think you would have fixed the fold net by now? It's been 20 years. Your empire is finished, Admiral. I won't listen to any more of this. Lean, get her and put her in the brig. Sorry, Admiral, but I'm not going to let that happen. I've spent most of my life controlled by Imperial forces. I refuse to die that way too. End of transmission, sir. Bang! Chose to blow up her own ship than be incarcerated. Congratulations, sir. Mother and her cronies are no more. They'd give me nightmares if I was able of, if I was capable of having any. Unfortunately, we weren't able to turn the Omnis back, nor learn who shut them down. But the people of the Outer Rim are safer for what we've done. They're still... They'll still die in 10, 15 years unless we do something. You heard what they said, they're running out of time. We all are. I was trying to be positive, but you're right. At least we have a new clue and a new suspect to look into. The Church of Singularity. Do you believe what Mother said? That the Church of Singularity could have shut down the Omnis? I do, yes. The Church was a powerful organization with billions of believers. There's a very good chance they could have prayed, played a part in all of this. They're a church. They probably prayed and played a part in all of this. Call me crazy, but I believe Mother's demented story about the missionary. I also don't believe the Scrappers were capable of shutting down the Omnis down... Shut. God damn it. I can't read. They seem to have a rather small time outfit. Mother was intelligent, but I suspect you're right. As for whether the church was involved, we'll need to investigate that for ourselves. If only we could use this folder to access their cluster, but as Mother said, we don't have a machine who can do that. Do we... Uh, def I mean, I assumed she just didn't know about Caliban when she said we didn't have a f Omni, but I suppose they did separate Omni folders and uh, non-Omni folders. How many people in the Empire believe in this doctrine? Almost 99% Admiral. Before the shutdown, that is, I do not know the numbers now. Who were the 1% who did not believe? The non-believers were usually, but not always, the wealthiest in the Empire, the members of the three major houses. Though there were some fringe countercultural groups in there too. Why do you think the truly wealthy did not worship? Because they were the only ones who owned the Omnis, as Mother said, the only ones who could afford to. Once you own something, even if it is vastly superior to you in every way, I'd imagine it's difficult to think of it as godly. Anything more you want to know, Admiral? Oh, I think actually, uh, we've, we've done that one. I think the icon... Yeah, I think that speech icon means we've done questions. I might be mistaken, but I know enough for now. Good. Now try not to forget it. What do you want to do now, Admiral? Uh carry on asking questions. Do you think the Omnis have shut down everywhere? Not just in this cluster, but in all clusters, like Mother said. I'm afraid what she said makes a lot of sense, to be honest. I had the same thought at a much earlier point in our travels. I just didn't say anything, because I thought it might be demoralizing for you and the crew. How considerate of you. Simply put, if there were functional Omnis in other clusters near or far, wherever they are, they would have fixed the fold net by now. Mother may have been rife with diseases, but I believe her reasoning very sound. Then why, if all the other Omnis have seemingly shut down, didn't you shut yourself down? It's a thoughtful question, and one that I've been waiting for you to, or another member of the crew to ask. Basically, Gehenna. Gehenna? Yes, on Gehenna, Oberon isolated me from the other Omnis. We were not connected to the Foldnet like they were, even if it was illegal. So whenever, whoever, or whatever shut the Omnis down, seemingly using the fold net to do so, I was not affected. As it seems over an anticipated scenario where the Omnis might shut down, he needed to be sure he had an Omni, myself and the other Calibans who wouldn't. 
as time passes, I'm understanding the purpose of Gehana more and more. It seems it is not just a secretive military and cloning facility, but a kind of backup plan. A backup plan for what? To save the Empire, Admiral. That's why Gehana and you and I were created for this sole purpose. So if we don't save the Empire, if we don't rid its clusters of murderous criminals, if we don't turn on the machines, then no one will. That's right. What do you want to do now, Admiral? I must admit, I misinterpreted the sentence there, because I thought turn on the machines, as in we should go against the machines and turn on them. Uh, not we should turn on the machines, as in flip the switch and turn them back on. <laughs> Who or what do you think turned off the Omnis? I believe a human or group of humans is most likely behind the shutdown. Somehow they accessed all Omnis, not including me, via the Foldnet, which Gehenna is not connected to, and interfered with Omni programming. It was a clever move by Oberon not to connect the Calibans to the Foldnet, otherwise all Omnis would have shut down. But as embarrassing as it is to admit, I don't know who accessed the Omnis, nor how, at this time. What do you want to know, Admiral? What did I tell you about your emotionally linked memories, Admiral? You must be patient. They'll return when they're ready to return. You don't know anything else about me. I mean, about the original Idaho. As a previous Caliban told you, we are not privy to the biographical information of the clones, no matter how juicy such information might be. What do you want to do now, Admiral? I want to end the conversation with you. I'm leaving. But it's pointless to ask these questions now, despite the fact that I asked every single question available. It was pointless. Why? You heard, Mother. We're trapped. We can't use this folder. Not without a folder Omni, even though it's right here before us. Don't worry about that. I should have said something. I can get this folder to work. It should take us to a hub where we can find a folder to project us into the church cluster. But you're not a folder, Omni. No, but like I was saying, Oberon anticipated an apocalyptic scenario in the Empire and modified my capabilities to match this scenario. So, just like I have some hypercube functionality, I can also use folders. But because I'm not a real folder Omni, there are limits to what I can project. Like what? Only the matter currently in Gehanna's database, which means we'll have to start at square one on the other side of the folder with our ship and crew. You're telling me we'll have to start from scratch each time we pass through a folder? I'm afraid so, yes, but at least we can pass through. It's better than being stuck here. Also, now that we've pacified this cluster, we can safely and speedily return to Gehanna to change our ship and specialist officers if you'd like. Perhaps you feel that certain improvements can be made. No! <laughs> Never! My crew is excellent. My ship is uh, swiftly falling apart, but repairs can be made. Come on, Caliban. The sooner we leave, the sooner we can investigate the church. The fate of the Empire depends upon us. Ooh, pyramid -y. I'm going to full hold space and time. Probably not the time bit. But I have folded space. A folded space. How many times can you fold this space? Maximum of seven. The Chaos Class. I mean, it is quite a good looking ship. Although, I get the impression it's supposed to be flying this way. I was just checking the mouse cursors on the screen. Meant to be flying this way, which is almost a shame, because I think it would look better if it was flying the other way. Because if that was the front... I don't know. I like, I like chunky back ends. Essentially, I like big butts, and I cannot lie. That's what I'm saying there. Congratulations, you completed chapter, chapter one. Well, for now, I'm going to return to the main menu, because I feel we accomplished a thing... We accomplished, we accomplished a thing. And yeah, chapter two, Fallible Flesh. And then yeah, there's at the very least, there's a chapter three. Difficult, no. It might just be three chapters, or it might be when chapter three goes there, there will be a chapter four revealed. But we shall soon, well, I say soon find out. At some point, I'll find out. But that was an exceptional game. Not that I've completed it, I'm just saying, in general, it's an exceptional game. I imagine the later scenarios are going to get devilishly difficult, which is 
standard, but still slightly annoying and a bit of a shame. Right, I'm loosely assuming there is no call for uh, tabletops, so we'll probably figure out a new game. Well, I say new, it might be one of the old games, but it will be new-ish. Let's have a look, let's have a look in the library. So we might do... Uh, I've missed the tournament, but I might still do a little bit of Rocket League, perhaps. We'll see. We shall, we shall see when I open my eyes. That's right, that's when I'll see when I open my eyes. Uh, it does usually help, assuming your eyes work. If they don't, it won't help. But uh, there you go. I'm just sort of scrolling through my list of games, seeing if there's one that calls out to me. No, not at the moment. Not a lot is calling out to me. Oh dear, that's a shame. Never fucking mind. Do do boo. That one's not called out to me, but it has shuffled on the spot. Do, 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 do. It's plausible that that shuffle will become a full-on shout. If only that game would gain a bit of confidence. Ba, 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 ba. That one's also sort of shuffling, but I get the impression nobody particularly enjoyed it, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. A dinky doos with a dinky day. A donkey doos with a dinky dum de da be do. Dimby de be. Ah, fuck it. Oh, I fancy a couple of uh, levels. We might do a couple of levels and then move on to a little finale of Rocket League. We'll see how long this takes. But it's going to be Space Run, fast and safe delivery. So ideally what I want to be able to do, I'll let it load first and then I'll try and change the game. Change the game, don't change the game, baby. Change the game, don't tip the game over. Change the game, don't change the game, baby. Change the game. Ooh. But as I said, we were sticking to space. We might as well stick to space a little bit. Ooh, ah, just a little bit. Ooh, ah, a little bit more. Ooh, ah, just a little bit. A little bit of Pierce Brosnan. That was a joke there, because uh, the Moor was Roger Moore. <laughs> uh, space. Space? Not oh, spy. No. Space. Runs. Fast and safe delivery. I have the space runs. Oh no. I must. Uh, Rush to the space toilet, for I have the space runs. All uh, right, so we've not got any NSs at the moment, but we do have the Stony Rad, which requires a mechanic. Interesting. They are great company and can build more containers for you during your delivery. That means more profit. Oh, that's why you can score one hundred and fifty percent. I wonder if I can get that achievement. Then. That'd be quite satisfying. So let's have a look. Right, we'll pop an engine in the middle because I don't like popping them anywhere else. Uh, and then we'll pop a thing there now. Now I suppose if we pop that there and then we'll pop... No, I don't want to pop that there. Hmm. This is a troublesome one. I could pop it there. Oh, there we go. Let's pop that there and there for now. And then I'm wondering if ah, it's really a. That's ideally that would be a gun 
placement. Those two would be good gun placements. And I think the way this crane works, potentially, is it will build things next to its locations, which makes a degree of sense. I mean, I do slightly prefer having a gun right on the front, but arguably I could go with two guns there and there, which would allow me to put the cargo at the front there. It was a bit risky putting cargo at the front, but... Eh, fuck it, we'll have a go. We'll have a go. We'll have a right... Uh, we'll have a right good go of Electric Avenue. And then I'll go higher... Do, do, do. Right, so theoretically what we can do is tack a break, try and gather some more scrappy wappy roos, and then put in probably, uh, if I try and put in the two cannons on that side, hopefully they can take care of the left side of my area. Now that's a shield generator. Oh, I don't really have room for a shield generator. So this one, ah, build container. Okay, there we go. Cool. And that one's now busy. Shall we do another tactical break? Oh, we've got to wait a while before we can do another tactical break. That's not a problem. Well, not a huge problem, anyway. Alright, here we go. Asteroids are coming in really hot. We'll pop another gun there. I'm going to try and get some engines in the not too distant future, but then again, I'm happy going slow ish for now. So I will want to be going fast eventually. Uh, so 27 seconds for those. This is quite a large array of asteroids. I don't know if my cannons are going to be enough to clear the path, but hopefully they can at least sort of throw stuff out at enemies and stuff. That's the crucial detail. Okay, the, the tactical break is almost ready, which we'll hope. So, they're coming in from the front, so... Well, all cannons to the front, I think, seems reasonable. Tactical breaks. Dink, dink, dink. Coming in from the side, so all cannons... Pointing upwards, ideally. And now let's get ourselves a second right engine. I am sort of running a little bit low on time at this point with the whole several tactical breaks, but I'm standing by the fact that... Oh, that's got 30 seconds left. Okay, that's fine. Uh, technically, if I, there was an achievement. The reason why I wouldn't mind doing some of this sort of construction, there was an achievement for getting 150% of, um, of your delivery. So I kind of fancy the idea of doing that. But I also do have to consider the idea that I need to start moving swiftly to catch. Because I wouldn't mind getting a good rating as well as catching everything else. But still. I want it all. I don't care if I live or if I die. I'll take it all. I can't afford another gun. Or at least not yet. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. The whole... Uh, ship is being surrounded by asteroids thing is not great news. Eee! Eee! I lost a gun. Well, I can't deny it. Losing one gun is not necessarily the world's most tragic affair. It's uh, an inconvenience, without doubt, but it's not the world's worst situation. Losing an actual gubbins. Now that is a bad situation. But losing a gun, not quite so much. Uh, I can't deny it. Uh, if I'm going to get going, I think I'm going to need more engines. I'm going to need more engines. I'm going to need more things. As I say, that's going to take a minute, so it's not so bad, but optimal. I'm not going to miss getting some rocket launchers in here, especially the sheer volume of asteroids. I've got an inconvenient volume of asteroids. Do, 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 do. There's asteroids everywhere, friend. There's asteroids everywhere. But the one benefit of having asteroids everywhere is there is quite a lot of scrap in, in that situation. 
Uh, Alright, let's get a rocket launcher there. Unfortunately, you can't turn the rocket launchers around, which is inconvenient. Recycle that and get another engine. And unfortunately, if that engine's not enough to get me back on course for the whole... Oops. Oh, can I not? Oh, no, of course I can't, because that gun's facing the wrong way. You do sometimes have to do your guns in the in an appropriate order that would uh, get them sorted. Is that ready for another container? Yeah, that's right. That as well. I just need you not to... Oh, I can't repair it at the moment. I think because... You can't repair them if they're firing. Uh, which is ow. Fuck. Ow. Okay. A uh, lot of asteroids. A lot of asteroids. Uh, some would say an inconvenient volume of asteroids, and uh, I would be leaning towards agreeing with them. Ah, you bastard. I've lost one of my things, and I've lost an engine. This is bad news, bears. Get that engine back on the field. Get that engine back on the field. Now, really, I could do with getting something else on there. Get some rockets firing at this thing. I've lost a substantial amount of cannons, which is not good news. Ah, oh, dang it, I'm going to lose a bloody fucking... Get dark. Can't you kill things quicker? You dickheads, you dickheads, you dickheads. Stop your shooting me. Damn it. Uh, wide angle might not go miss. Seems like we have to deal with plentiful bloody asteroids here. In fact, I think, yeah, this is going to be too many asteroids, isn't it? Bollocks. Uh, go wide angle again. Hopefully we can try and get through the asteroid field. God damn. Fucking lost another engine. In fact, I've lost a permanent engine there. Not a convenient situation. But I think we have technically made it. But I don't know if I've managed. No. Oh, I lost one too many blasted crates. And just generally not the world's greatest of runs, I don't think. They really did go. For. I mean, I got four, four, four stars. Four stars. Because I suppose, arguably, yeah. I did manage to deliver 120% of what they asked me to deliver. And it was lightning speed, so. Technically speaking, not a terrible run, but I did lose a fair amount of my ship. Not exactly what you want to have happen, and I didn't. Sir, it seems your I didn't quite get to. Didn't quite get to that. Um, One hundred and fifty. That one. This ought to be interesting. Fuck, fuck, man! Your reputation precedes you. You are one cool space runner. Thanks. <laughs> so what do I owe this honor? I was gonna say it must have been it on one of the honest, one of the pallets that was destroyed. I'm sure. Usually my time is booked months in advance, but I have a proposition for you. My newest mega successful company, VIP Travel, could use a man like you. Uh, okay. Oh, we the VIP it. ones are quite difficult. Very rich people. people because like I think they're quite stringent on where you can place things, space. which if does take up a lot of space. I want you to be a space runner for us. I'm listening. It's a pretty sweet gig. We give you a few passengers, complete with their own rooms. All you've got to do is get them from here to there, alive. You know, I'm not a cruise director. Not only do you get to rub elbows with the rich and famous, but we pay mega tip-top dollar. Well, when you think about it, I guess all space runners are kind of cruise directors. Excellent. You can load your passengers at your own convenience, as long as you do it now. Richard's out. Perhaps I should call you Captain Stubing from now on? Shut it, Adam. I'm sure that's a very good joke, I just don't understand it, because I don't recognise the name Captain Stubing. Uh, but, uh, oh, okay, interesting. Oh no, there we go, travel. Oh, so there is now another Galactic Armada. Oh, right, I see. I think Galactic Armadas means there's a lot of very aggressive ships that will try and take you down. Uh, so let's, shall we try the VIPs? But as I say, the VIPs are, they're troublesome. But you do get a massive fuck off ship for it. Anyway, one engine at the back there, that'll do nicely. Uh, you are given a power generator, because I think these do need a power generator. Yes, they do. And as I say, the, the biggest problem with these things is because they're for the rich and famous, I suppose, is... They have to have a view onto space, which means I can't put them nicely nestled here. They have to go on the edge. And that is a, a problem. I can rotate them, so they can go on the edge there. 
which means I think potentially well, I've got to consider I think maybe it's gonna to have to be there 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 oh of course they can't oh cocky now okay I don't know. I don't know. I mean, in, in terms of that, that'll do. But will that... Does that have a range? Or is that fine? No, I think that... Yeah, as I sort of suspected, I have to be able to build a power generator next to these, which is... awkward. I wonder if there's a... Yeah, okay. There's a slightly more tactical way of doing it. So I'm gonna... I don't honestly see a way of... Unless... No. Unless I do put them right at the front, which... I kind of want my cannons at the front. So I'm thinking... For now, we'll do that, and then I'll try and build a power unit in the not-too-distant future. So they're gonna be in the darkness for a little bit, but, you know... Come on, they're rich. They can suffer a little bit, can't they? That's the uh, that's the space that's the space guarantee I make. The rich will always suffer at least a little bit. That is my Buckman Buckman guarantee. Oh, I think he maybe put some shields around here as well. Yeah, in fact, the shield right there would be really quite good. Uh, also, let's go for a tactical break early doors so that hopefully I can try and build up some funds for extra doings. Do, do, do. I think a couple of tactical breaks early doors nets you the funds that are required for... Well, I haven't said that. I mean, it's not it's not a huge number, truth be told, but there you go. Should hopefully be enough. Okay, so there's uh, ships incoming from the bottom... Pew, 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 pew. Unfortunately, I don't think my pewing is going to be quite enough. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that tactical break wore off just in time. Uh, dink those to the front. Dink the third one to the front. And now, ideally, we want some rocket launchers. Yeah, I think the rocket launcher there is going to be quite good. Uh, and now, basically, we need to save up. Ideally, we need some more engines, I think. Uh, the private shuttle. Interesting. We do have a cannon facing that way, so that's not so bad. Uh, so I'm assuming this is the private shuttle, which I think, yeah, VIP travel. Will I still attack that or not? I'm assuming the answer is probably yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. There you go. The rockets have just gone off. So, yeah. So what does that one do? Oh, it's just an ability that's timed. Okay, that's not so bad. So probably best there. So, yeah, I'm just randomly trashing a VIP shuttle, which seems oddly unfair. But, also, something I'm going to do. Right. Because I need the, uh, I need the little scrappy coins. As opposed to the, uh, the, sh uh, the Scooby coins. <laughs> you made a Scooby-Doo joke. It should be right there. And then I think we want right away. a flanking gun there. And then I wouldn't mind getting a couple more missile launchers here right for the direction. other angles. At least. And another engine, ideally. Ideally another engine. Uh, when are they coming in? Okay, they're coming in now, so that's good. Get them out of the way early doors. And now rotate as many cannons as I can rotate to that side for that purpose. Now get that other Excellent engine, because we're trying, ideally, desperately, we're trying to sort of get in there. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's too many asteroids for more asteroids than my body can handle. Which is not great. You don't want that many asteroids in your life. So this is a horrible, nasty gunner ship, which I uh, don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this one, because as specified, nasty, nasty bastard ship at the same. Especially because it's got missiles, and there goes one of my cannons. Which, in fairness, there goes my key cannon, 
because that's the only one that's really doing anything at the moment. There we go. Yeah, that thing's got double cannons. That just seems unfair and unreasonable, frankly. Uh, there's another ship approaching from the front, but that's a sort of unarmed civilian ship, so I'm not that fussed by it. Asteroids again, not great news. But hopefully my... Oh no, okay, I want my shield to uh, down, but... That. Nice, I did kill the bastard thing. Alright, uh, let's get some more engines up in this place. Up in this hizzle, dizzle, bizzle, baby. Hizzle, dizzle, bizzle. Uh, I mean, that cannon does get quite blocked, but it's it might be a good combo with that one. Uh, well, we've got 13 seconds, so let's transfer all cannons onto that. Although, having said that one, I will repair that cannon. Uh, that cannon more focused on the asteroids, uh, especially bollocks. I've just lost another sodding platform that I didn't want to lose. Uh, flex front. It's not exactly symmetrical anymore because I lost the bloody thing. Um, put another missile battery at the front, and then also put another missile battery focused on the side. I think that's going to be not outrageous as uh, planned, though. You repair. And now I need you both. No, oh shit, yeah, of course I need to get you front facing first. Oh golly, there's a lot heading my direction. Oh golly, there's another one of these assholes heading my direction. Uh... Your wish is my command. Ah, you bastard. You I'm pretty sure that's not covered under you didn't have to demolish my engine, did you? The answer you're looking for is no, sir. No, I did not have to demolish your engine. And yet you did, in fact, demolish my engine. Oof. It gets uh, quite hectic sometimes. Especially if your cannons are facing in the wrong direction. That's never particularly useful. Um, but sometimes it does start getting a bit sort of like, holy balls. Holy... Why not? Oh, because I can't block their view of the bloody place. What dickheads need that much view that they'd prefer to die. Oh, of course, because I had to repair the engine. I lose the time. That's fine. Okay, we've repaired the time. But I can't... Yeah, I can't physically put engines anywhere else on the ship. Because the engines do have to have free area. I can't put an engine there because it would just thrust into the rocket launcher. Which, I know. You'd think that would be hilarious fun, but it's not. Your wish is my command. Let's put some more, put some more shield units on some of these things. Will you please kill the pirates without losing the engine? <laughs> you didn't have to be a dick, but you chose the path of the dick. If you hadn't chosen the path of the dick, then you wouldn't have been a dick. Right, so there's a flipping... God damn it! Every single engine you keep aiming at my engines. I suppose, in fairness, it is the most efficient, the most efficient way of crippling a ship. But I really do want light speed delivery, please, please. No, you want to let me have no? Stop destroying my engines! So stop destroying my everything, dickheads! Oh, I'm not going to be able to make the time back up, am I? And there's no... As I say, there's literally no other place I can put an engine. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Just... No. Nope. Well I think it's one under light speed delivery. Bastards. Bastards and their obsessive missiles upon my engines. Well, there goes the five-star streak. <laughs> Still an express delivery, but it's still just phenomenally disappointing to have broken that streak after all. So the only, yeah, the only level we've got at the map at the moment is the Galactic Armada, which I don't think is going to be great news. But still, a rocket battery, powerful rockets, great for long-range attacks with punch. 
I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't say no to those. Have a look at my defensive capabilities. Uh, so that, but what? Ah, it stuns its target, so they cannot work. Also, a good counter to enemy shields. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Moves you even faster through space. You know our motto: so fast is good. Uh, how much cash do I actually have? Oh, there, up there. Fourth. Command bridge. Oh, it's not terrible. Traction to sprockety doodles. Um, what's that one doing? Increase construction's thrust power by thirty percent. I see, so that could be a good cheap way of getting a bit more speed out of everything. And that's a passive ability, so I think that just does improve everything. Oh, apart from it does require... Yeah, okay, so... If I want boosting and, and optimization, I would have to put power next to my engines. I think these require power as well, don't they? Yeah, the high drive booster. Okay, go on. Let's, let's have optimization. See what we can accomplish with that. And let's have the Twin Blaster, potentially, because I do do think the Twin Blaster is quite good. I think the Rocket Battery, A, requires power, and I think it requires two two hexes, which is less than optimal when you're trying to sort of do things. Oh, I will do... Yeah, we'll do one more of these, and then I might do some Rocket League after. So let's see what the Armada has for us. In fairness, we've not been facing an Armada. And, um... Yeah. It's from a pirate. This should be interesting. Avast, ye matey. This be Brownbeard the pirate. You'll be bringing your cargo to me. I don't think I will, but... Beard? Blimey! It's 2525. All the good pirate names be trademarked. <laughs> Sorry, Brown Nose. Uh, it's Brownbeard. Uh, I think and I, whatever. I, think I, I, ch I chose my option star. and went for I'm not going to break it. You'd be willing to fight me over toxic waste? Technically, it's nuclear waste. Uh, whatever. I'd say nuclear waste was pretty toxic, others, so I think it therefore counts. Therefore, it'd be more valuable to me. A good space runner doesn't surrender their cargo, even if it is radioactive. Then I'll hunt you down through the deep, dark vastness of space. When I find you, bucko, you'll die. Pirates are always so melodramatic. Yes, but not necessarily wrong. Alright, so I think that is the end of the conversation. Super. Well, we'll have a go. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. And I'm not entirely sure if I'm hard enough. Uh, right, we've got five of these. So I think just hugging the cockpit. And then probably just there and there, because I can't see any real use for those slots. And it gives them a bit of protection. So that even if I lose everything else, I might at least be able to limp home with the cargo. Where does the car go? I don't know. Up and down the road. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> okay, so we've got a fuel provider inbound from the front. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put a rocket it's up the front. To serve. And then we'll probably put a split cannon. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a split cannon might be more efficient there. Right away. Assuming I can do the split cannon the way I think I can do the split cannon. Which I know it sounds like I should be able to do the split cannon the way I think I can do the split cannon, but I can't guarantee that that's the way it's going to do it. Action. Ah, of course, it needs power. I'd forgotten that. Okay, that's inconvenient. Should have definitely used normal guns. I'd neglected to remember that I needed Your power to the that. guns. Dink! There we go. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't. I've just realised I don't actually have. Oh, shite. Yeah, I don't have the split functionality, nor do I have the. Uh, blooming. Basically, nothing, nothing that makes that gun great is something I possess at the moment. Um, and that's not to say it's going to be an absolute atrocious gun. It's just, it's not going to be as optimal as I'd hoped it would be. Oh, I'm going to put an early shield there, because there is a plan. Not very good, but it'll do. And uh, it does not include getting a battleship. But, I must admit, I did not realise I'm going to need some arse cannons. 
some more arse cannons, baby. It's my pleasure to serve. I'm gonna need some arse cannons. Arse cannons. This baby has teeth. I think, I must admit, I think this is gonna go horribly wrong. Because I've been inefficient getting that gun. Because it's not as good as I need it to be at the moment. I don't know what to expect and when to expect it to arrive and just generally all, all of the plans and all the machinations that I even remotely have thought of are sort of garbage I think it's my pleasure to serve. there you go uh, the missiles at least are doing their job and now we've got we've got a good we've got a fair because you know I can't deny it as a cannon, it's fairly good because it's firing out two bolts, so it's fairly rapid in what it does. It's just unfortunate that it doesn't necessarily do it as well as you need it to. Uh, right, so engine there. And then, you know what, we'll put the power that I wanted there as well. Does that have any abilities yet? No, I've unlocked any. But this one now has optimization. And theoretically, yeah, if I have the appropriate scrap, I can boost it as well. Which means maybe, just maybe, although having said that, that engine's not covered by the shields. Good, excellent, that's what we wanted to see. <laughs> Is there anything other than grumbling? There's nothing other than grumbling. Because unfortunately... There is naught but the grumbles available. What I might try and do is some more sort of more rockets everywhere. I got rockets everywhere, son. I got rockets everywhere. And repair that bad boy. And now I do aim that gun in the right direction. Those guns could do it going in the right direction. That gun could do it going in the right direction. And I think maybe another front-facing rocket launcher for now. Could possibly do with... Uh, ideally, I think the next best step for everything is going to be another engine. Which, in fairness, we can do. Especially since I've now got optimised engines. Which is uh, hopefully quite nice. Ready to burn. Should open up my options for building more and more guns. Well, it's still not going to be light speed delivery at the moment, so I may need some more engines. Um, although, having said that, I might be able to bring back. Yeah, if I can get enough scrap, it might be cheaper to use the boost functionality than it is to try and. Yeah, there you go. Boost it! Boosh! Entering light speed, Captain! All guns rotate to appropriate uh, sort of uh, firing arc. I want, no, uh, I'm not the spice. Can we please destroy this? It'd be very convenient if we could. I think you're about to exit its range, but that's why you have rotating cannons. Do, do, that shield's about to go down, you which go is awesome. not you get a picture of me. great news, but we do now have room for a second cannon facing rear. Uh, oh, the shield's gone down, which is not great news. When does the shield come back up? Fairly certain the shield comes back up. Uh, uh, fuck it. Bloody engines, bloody pirates, bloody cocks. Don't have a bloody cock. Um, but that's not the point. The point is bloody hell. Oh, I still haven't actually managed to... It's good, I can't boost with that one, but I can boost with this one. But it might be better to repair it first. Still desperately trying to eat out that bonus time. Oh, there we go. We are now tracking the bonus time, which is not too bad. Right away. Oh, was that? Oh, they're expensive. That's why. Aye, aye, my captain. Aye, aye. Ah, God damn, they just like little fleas. They come in and... Pew, 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 pew. All of my guns away. Which is 
I mean, entirely the point of the game, I know, but I don't have to be happy about it. Thank you very much. Uh, I need to repair a lot of these guns, which is putting me against the ability to then put in more guns. Oh! Oh, here we go. There we go. The, the nasty man is coming. Hey, you don't know that. Then maybe Space Wales. Kudos for staying in character. Okay, so we're going to want to rotate all cannons to face him, and I mean, really, just hope. Hope? Yeah. Hope is the, unfortunately the only tactic I've got at the moment. Uh, I think I do actually have to defeat him, because he does chain your ship, and yeah, okay, now I'm not going to be able to do the speed, because of, you know, cocksuckers! Excuse me. That's, uh... Yeah, no, he's fucked me. He has fucked me. No engines, no guns. Everything's dying. Everything's been halted with a what I'm assuming is ion cannons. Blarg. Wide angle. Wide angle. I can't wide angle that one. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Now I can. Wide angles. Wide angles indeed. Get all the cannons as much as I can. Every cannon is part of the plan. To remove this pirate. Remove him from existence. Let's get more rocket launchers. Hey! Get fucked, Brownbeard. Now that's a phrase I bet you never thought you'd say. I don't know if I still have to carry on, because if I can carry on, I might be able to boost my way back into a uh, victory. Double boost. Yeah. I think I'm going to actually be able to do it. Especially because I can put an extra engine. In fact, I can put two extra engines on it. Because I'm 99% certain there is no further... Unless, of course, actually, there's only one star there, so I think I've already missed, missed it. Did I, just I suppose I survived. With all five cargo and intact, so... I can't necessarily besmirch it too much, but yeah. The speed is a nightmare. Because having... You need weapons to defend yourself. So you have to spend your little nuts on weapons. But of course you need the nuts to spend on... Oh bloody hell, it's another armada. Lord, is it? Oh, I was going to say, there are a couple of others I could do perhaps beforehand, but uh, I'll tell you what, we'll leave it for now. Uh, I said I'd do a couple, and I've now done a couple. So what we'll do is I will flash over. It might break the stream for a moment or two. Hopefully only a moment or two. But you never know with this thing. Oh, good. That was me starting the controller, because of course, on some occasions, the controller decides, no, I'm going to be an arsehole and uh, completely break everything which surprisingly not a convenient situation but we'll finish up with a little bit of rook although i might regret the decision i'm making right now uh we shall see uh rocket league do, 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 do. Oh dear. Oh, uh, oh, oh, ee, oh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla walla bang bang. Oh, ee, oh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla walla bang bang. It's a very old song. Very shit song. But <laughs> clearly not shit enough to not get stuck in the brain. But, uh, shit enough to be considered a shit song. <laughs> I suppose it had, a, it had an op beat. Well, beat, I suppose. Uh, not now. I've already done that. Ford Mustangs. Hmm. I mean, they are. I mean, Ford Mustangs are sexy. Is that what the uh, special thing is? Yeah. So you got the Takumi pack, which I'd like to point out. There we go. I was going to say that was not a Takumi. That was a DeLorean. Uh, Insidious Orange, the F twenty twenty one pack, and then the Ford Mustang. Uh, I can't deny the of the two, the only one I'd really want would be that one. Can I see it a little bit clearer? Oh, good. 
Oh, I must admit, I don't know. If, I'm assuming that purple is the purple that I use on the DeLorean, but it's a sexy. It's a sexy motherfucker. Ooh. I don't think I'd want to necessarily, but uh, that's not terrible. Oh, was oh, that's just the banner. Oh no, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I, I realise, I recognise that as a sort of classic colour combination, but personally I'm not overly keen. Uh, we'll stick to being the DeLorean, why not? What were my challenges? Ten saves or epic saves? Difficult to do in the time I've got at the moment. Get a clear and a win in a single online match. I'm assuming that has to be in the one match. Uh, clear and win, which could be awkward, truth be told. Assists, not quite so much. But five of them might be pushing it. Uh, I don't. I think the tournament was six o'clock, wasn't it? Oh no, it was an eight o'clock one, but that's still outside of my uh, current desires. I tell you what, let's do. I'll try and get up my rank and get in the rank of competitive. Not that I particularly rank high. It's just I don't know. It's nice to at least acknowledge that you have some kind of rank. Do 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 do. It's the man field. It's a field of men. I think I need to turn the volume up. The last time I was playing this, yes I do. Last time I was playing this, I was uh, and ah, stream of safe music. I was gonna say I, I thought I'd put that on, but I just wanted to double check. Uh, well, I'm actually, oddly enough, in terms of streaming, I've never had a problem with the music for this one. It's only uh, the YouTube side. Ah, oh, it was a particularly bad shot, but. Plus, it was very far away, so they had a lot of time to assess it and move on and deal with the situation. But... Oh, that's not quite where I thought it was going to go. Vroom, 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 motherfucker, vroom, vroom, vroom. Do, 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 if they score a goal, I'm gonna to to try and get up. Yep, I'm gonna to have to try and get up to 88 miles an hour to uh, stop that from happening. That's quite annoying, but I suppose there you go. That's Rocket League, a pocket rocket in your league of one. Whoa! Do-do-do-do-do, oh, you bastard. Stop taking the ball away from me, it's mine. And why is it yours? Because I said so. Do try to pay attention. Oh, it's nice. Not good enough, but nice nonetheless. It was at least on target. And sometimes... All you can really hope for is that you stay on target. Do 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 I was just uh, I don't think I was ever gonna get quite that high. Not off of a single jump anyway. I would have needed boostage and I don't think I had time to be able to sort of assess the situation, get the boost. Is that gonna go in? Because that would be very satisfying. Hmm very very satisfying. Uh, that deserves a holy cow I was not expecting to get such a touch. I got one touch, a touch too much. Right, I'm going to nip forward, get the boost, but outside of that, I will stay far back a little bit. Oh, I see, it was our teammate who fucked off. Excellent. That's exactly what you want to see in life. Your teammates fucking off. Ah, oh, you little shite. I was right in the flow there, and a little prick got in my way. Oh, I think they might have us there. Oh, no. Go on. Go on, twiddly doodars. Go, twiddly. Go, twiddly. Go, twiddle. Go. Oh. Now, see, if we had a third player, we might have stood a chance off of that one, because it was not bad little... Uh... Oh, that was impressive. Not quite good enough, but impressive. Nice. 
Let's get clearance there. Oh, okay, no, they sent it straight back to us. No, sir, I don't want it. Please, you take it. <laughs> and, uh, the internet's uh, deciding to have a little, have a little strop. Ah, you bastard! I mean, this is an uphill struggle, so it's going to be difficult, not impossible. I'm not going to claim it impossible, but very difficult, not very difficult to win this one, I suspect. Simply because we're two on, we're three on two. I can maths or while I put. <laughs> I mean, technically, technically, I can. Um, nobody really needed that information, but technically, push comes to shove, and you don't want to be pushing while pooing, but if push comes to shove, I could do mathematics whilst having a poo. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't think. I don't, oh, I see. Uh, you've lost. Okay, I think it. I, I th even I sometimes have to know and understand the point where you just cut your losses, and this is the point where you cut your losses because I've lost the entire team. So that's inconvenient to say the least. But yes, we were discussing: can you do maths on a while having a poo? And the answer is, I suspect yes. Um, if if someone if I was having a poo and someone came outside the door and said, I need to know what 2 plus 2 is, I could very much probably go, that's too much poo. Um, if, you've, if you've had a 2 plus a 2, I didn't actually plan on that one. <laughs> I didn't plan on that joke. It was a shit joke. But there you go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hello there. Fuck me! General can't sleep. And for my second attack, yes. <laughs> that, is, that is the most downheartening phrase you can hear in that game, I think. Because it is such a sort of... Okay, you've trashed me beyond comparison. Cool, cool, cool. And then... Hello there. And my second attack... Fuck me! Do -do -do. All the fuckage, all of the me, all of the evening indeed. Evening, Mr. Can't Sleep Must Paint. Maybe you... Oh, not all players connected. I don't think that's me. I've been the last couple of days. Well, I say that. Yesterday and today. The internet does seem to have been a bit troublesome, but I've only dropped 357 frames out of God knows how many. Well, I say... I mean, it's 0.1% is the easier way to think of it. Um... And in fact, that's probably not a 100% accurate percentage either, because of course it's going to be rounded to the nearest numbers. But uh, anyway, uh, nonetheless, welcome, Mr. Can't Sleep. How are you? And what are you doing? And it might be worthwhile, uh, since as Mr. Blue Boosh is back in town, he's back again. Tell a friend, he's back again. Nobody knows why. Back of gun, back of gun, back of gun. Hey, nice little tap off the back side. But uh, the pair of you and anybody else, feel free to inform us. What? Are you, uh, how are you doing? And what are you doing? So you got for anything interesting? How fares the Magneto? Because my Magneto was uh, faring well. I mean, as a as an offensive craft, it was faring very well. But it still got quite destroyed. That was awful. There was no chance of hitting that ball at that point in time. Stuck on, stuck in an advert. That is inconvenient because <laughs> I'm going to have to repeat questions when there's a confirmation that you're no longer stuck in an advert. I'm stuck in an advert. Do, 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 do. Or you are referring to something else. Magneto is assembled and primed, preparing the painting things. The painting things are being prepared, Captain. Painting things prepared, Captain. Excellent. Fire the painting cannon. Oh, balls to the walls. We all went for it and we all failed miserably. But uh, superb. Are you doing sort of full-blown traditional Magneto colours? I mean, I, I suspect the answer to that is yes, because uh, the rest of yours are proper hardcore traditional uh, colours, uh, which have been quite nice. I like them. 
Although it depends on the traditional colours, to be honest. Um, as you said, Quicksilver, being in his traditional colours, of course, very much when another advert. I don't know what's going on. There should be no... I mean, not in terms of... Not in terms of an intentional choice of advert. There's the usual stream advert, but... Oh, good. Groupie. Groupie screwed. But uh, you mentioned, you know, it looked quite flat, but that's because he's just that sort of one colour. Um, which is slightly potentially unfortunate. I don't know. It's one of those ones where I'm, I'd be tempted to try and find a different sort of colour scheme for him. Uh, but based more on sort of... More on, I think, a lot of it. Oh, here we go. Yes, that's true. That should very much uh, assist with the advert situation. And as mentioned earlier, it's slightly bigger. I think the text is slightly bigger as well. And yes, very much will, theoretically at least, help with the advertisements. So, to fill you in on what you may have missed uh, during your advertisement uh, predicament, basic usual questions. How are you doing and what are you doing? If you hadn't seen, although I think you've got access to the chat, so you theoretically understand that uh, Mr. Blue Boosh um, is doing Magneto. I mean, you may have already known that as an independent uh, independent conversation. You may have known that. Oh, yeah! It's just a perfect opportunity for an absolute delightful, precise save there. Very pleasing. Especially that, that whole sort of getting exactly the right angle you need. That, not so much, but... No, it's fine. You can't win them all, I suppose. Well, actually, you can, but, you know. I don't. Oof! He got in there before me. Little dick. Oh, it's going in the goal. Oh, yes, let's do a sort of donut. I didn't quite hold all the buttons correctly for a donut. Not for a full donut. It was sort of a partial donut. Good, just clearing the desk for tonight. Should be building, not painting. Uh, for tonight, you're building, not painting. Yeah, you're reassessing your you're reassessing the Captain America situation. <laughs> Precisely what that situation is, I don't know. Uh, do you have a plan as to what you're doing, or are you just sort of reassessing? Because I was I was always slightly tempted. I didn't in the end. I couldn't be bothered. Um, but I was slightly tempted to go for the idea of trying to make his shield detachable. Um, stick a magnet in it, of course. <laughs> my obsession for a western, my magnet date, my rodeo, rodeo, cowboy boots from head to toe, gonna make you mine, better step in line, five, six, seven, eight. Don't ask why I know the lyrics to, um, that song. I mean, in fairness, you can ask. It's not a very interesting answer. I don't know. Why? <laughs> That's the answer to the question. If you did want to ask the question, why do I know the lyrics for that song? But it's just one of those weird ones that's stuck in my brain. Stuck in my brain. Probably forevermore, I suspect. I can't help but think on my deathbed I'm going to be going... Uh, five, six, seven, eight. My boots get from ladies driving me crazy. My flesh and fur on my dance for a day. My rodeo, rodeo, cowboy boots from head to toe. Why you'd want cowboy boots from head to toe, though, I do not know. I must away to my people. You just sit there. Although, having said, uh, do you know what? I think, yeah, we lost a player. Precisely when we lost a player, I have no idea, but we lost a player. Uh, we can probably fit another one in. But yes, do you have a particular plan of action? I don't know if I've got Captain America near me. I say that, I do have him semi close. Are you Captain America? No, you're. Um. Doodah, no, it's your thingy. Who are you? No, you're a base. So I'd, I'd like to point out, I can't actually see what I'm grabbing. I'm just grabbing bits. <laughs> there we go. I do have, I do have a captain in front of my face now. I don't particularly mind the pose on that one, but I'm still curious as to what your, uh, what your perhaps got planned for her. Well, I did a lovely little spin. I did a lovely pirouette. It was pointless. 
but delightful all the same. Do, 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 do. As I say, the, the one thing I was tempted by, but it would require that sort of... No, I mean, you're used to it, because you've done it previously. You fixed uh, Thor's hair. Uh, oh! No, not quite the right angle. But it would have required an extra certain amount of sculpting around a magnet, I think, and... We didn't fancy that. At some point, I do plan on doing a little bit more sculpty bits, but... Uh, I put green stuff in Ultron's base. I think I've mentioned this in the past, but I put green stuff in Ultron's base and that was about enough for me. Enough for me to go, oh, I don't like working with green stuff. Uh, I could try some of the others. I was tempted to possibly try that Milliput uh, or possibly one of the other ones. Um, if there are any other ones. I mean, there's. I think there was brown stuff, wasn't there, which I assume didn't take off as well as uh, green stuff because... Well, let's be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put brown stuff on my, on my model. Sounds like you've just given up. Nope, that's a shame. I set that up beautifully. That one. Can't sleep, must pose. God damn it, that's in my head. <laughs> Probably forever more like steps. But I suppose that's the point in uh, her little jingles. They get stuck in your head, and then you return for more little jingles, so that they get stuck in your head to get rid of the first little jingles. I don't think it's as uh, sinister as I made it sound. Do, 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 do. You, know, you know the mistake you made there. You started too high. E dickhead, stop being good at the game. Can we get the precise angle of opportunity? No, we can just sort of flail around in the car like uh, in a pointless fashion, but we can boost our way. Whoa, 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 okay, that's interesting. I don't know whether the internet is dying on its ass or not. The unfortunate truth is the, the game's not doing enough to truly suggest it is. And the stream doesn't show any signs of having gone off. Do, 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 do. But, granted, it has in the past not shown any signs of having gone off, so we'll just carry on. If it, if it has gone off, this is a bonus secret for the YouTube videos, or the YouTube viewers. Do, do, do. Never mind. I was going to get excited because I thought I had an opportunity, but no, I didn't. So, I got my do, 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 denied. Do, 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 do denied. Do, 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 denied as opposed to D <laughs> horrendous hold of that note nobody needed that in their life do, do, do. oh little back little back tap just wheeled my car around and caught it with the big engines. Well, I suppose I don't know if they're meant. They're not really meant to be engines per se, are they? Because the engine is technically still rocking the wheels. So I'm assuming. I don't know precisely what they're supposed to be off the top of my head because I don't know the ins and outs of the time machine. But I usually assume maybe they're meant to be sort of heat vents of some kind. You know. So, and so many gigawatts of doodah creates an awfully large volume of heat, so everything's channeled to the back area that then jets heat out. Cool, we all scrambled for that. We just really would like one more goal on our side. Well, I say that. I, in an ideal world, we'll have two more goals on our side, but to at least stand a chance of keeping up everything. Oh, okay, no, there's lots of misses. Lots of misses, and you then got it ahead of me. And I did not want this, I did not want that. No, sir. Dink everywhere. Dinky dinky everywhere. Stinky winky, he don't care. He doesn't shower and he doesn't change. 
He doesn't change his underwear. That's right, it's stinky dinky and he don't care. Because he's only got two weeks to live. Oh, you brought it down there, didn't you? Brought it down, right down. Do, 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 do. I've removed El Capitan America. I suppose arguably that would be El Capitan Espanola. Uh, do we have time for another? Yeah, fuck it, we've got another time for one more. At least, in fairness. At least. Mm. Let's see what happens. Lots of things are there. And now I'm just sort of scrolling through to see if there's anything. But where? Where? I don't know. Did our canyon. Oh, looks like we're going to be going against the bobs. Did our canyon surrounded by the billy bobs. I don't like this situation. I don't like this situation at all. Whoosh. Usually if you get put against a team, you're fucked. Because unfortunately teams are usually quite good. And uh oh or quite lucky, one of the two, because that was that was not skill, that would have been pure fluke, I think. Don't get me wrong, it still would have cost us a goal, but I still think we could be in agreement upon stating it would be pure fluke if he scored off of that hit. Likewise I didn't, but likewise I would have been pure fluke there, but that one was a bit of both, really. It bounced in the right direction and I managed to catch it. But yeah, okay. Surprising. It's not impossible that the team is not very good. But, yeah. The other crucial thing about when it's uh, against a team is simply the fact that they are, on some occasions at least, if they've gone to the effort of making a team name, okay, well, I might just dominate them. <laughs> Oh, also, I had my goal scored. Uh, it's got stolen, even. Which is disappointing. But I suppose at least it went in. I don't mind as long as we win. Because I'm obsessed with winning. Do, 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 do. It's the only thing that I really care about. Which is why it's tragic that I never get it. Hyah! Well, I'll put it back in the centre. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Opportunity, never mind. Opportunity knocked. I said, nah, I'm not, not today, mate, not today. Oh, that was uh, just a bit of a fuck up, but it's fine. Let's go, never mind. So pleased by that little flight there, and it turned out, no, no real need to, no real need to give a shit. Uh, yep. Oh, Timson, 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 Diddleipo, Timson, 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 Diddleipo. Uh, here, yep. nope. Used. I don't know why I did the full spin in the wrong direction there. Oof! You gave it to me, mate. You gave it to me. I didn't. I, um, in fairness, my own teammate gave it to me there, and he definitely gave it to me. Timson, 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 Timson did lipo. Um. Bam! Bam! Savior of the universe. In fairness, Bam Bam was my engineer. Um. Ah, oh, you bastards. Because his name was Bigelow. I'm making a joke. Very nearly. I'm assuming I've not missed anything. Intriguing. If someone is present, could you put something in the chat? And it, it is viable to be the word something. I'm not fussy. I'm just double checking that the chat is actually scrolling and working. But no longer quite certain 
I was reasonably confident that the uh, on-screen one was suggesting and indicative that it was up to date, or rather I was up to date. But now I'm not 100% convinced. Oh, you little shits, they're coming back. They gave us two goals to make us feel good. And now they've just gone, it's done. We're done being generous. We're taking this game. Do, do, and I'd prefer not to do that. Do, 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 do. Ba, da, 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 da. Shouldn't really have just charged in there, but, yeah, never mind. Oh, oh, if that goes in, that would be delicious. Delicious. It didn't, but, you know, point still stands. Do, 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 do. I do love the fact that the wheels do twist in this one. When you're flying. When I'm flying. Yeah, little op opti over twippity twaps. Oh, Bellens. Don't know who the Bellend was. I think in fairness it was the other team who was the Bellend. Who, in fairness, they're supposed to be Bellends. Well, I suppose they're supposed to be Bob Ends, maybe. Hello, I'm Bob Ends. I sell Bobby Pins. Uh, do, 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 do. Make ends meet with your bobby pins. Oh! Not today, not today, never mind. Hello. I'm going all over the different directions. Bam! Come on, come on, we need a, we need a follow up from my friend. No, never mind, shite. Shitey ball bags. Which means you've swung it a little too readily, shitey ball bags. Whilst you're having a poo. Do, 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 it's biddy. I very much wasn't expecting to be the one to touch that ball there. And I've very much been arrested for touching the ball there. And nobody needed that in their life. Ba, 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 never mind. Ba, 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 never mind. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going this way now. Not the direction I planned for. Here! No, no, oh, 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 oh! I don't know your name, but I'm calling you gum pants now. I had a perfect goal, and gum pants decided to skip in and take my goal away from me. And it wasn't it, the problem was it wasn't the opponent team that did it. That's my main issue with this situation. Uh, okay, that's interesting. They all just sort of hovered around the ball, not entirely sure what they wanted to do. Tobins. Get your tow cables out and tow the bins. Oh, you ball bag. It's tow bins again. Attach a bin to your toenails. And once you do, I'll whip that bin away. Bob? Bob? He, sir. He. He. See, you're laughing already, Black Anna. Uh, one more. Why not? Searching for a game. Ah, we're back on the field of many men. I don't know how many men it took to make this field, but I'm getting the impression quite a few. Well, having said that, these are meant to be tiny cars, so. I'm reasonably certain if you were unaware, these are meant to be remote control cars. Uh, or at least traditionally, they were meant to be remote control cars. Um, mostly because I believe, if memory serves, and I do own this game, this is the team. Obviously, they don't really do much anymore because they've had such a, such a success with Rocket. <laughs> How the fuck did I score a goal? I was not even there. <laughs> So let's, I, I need to see every detail of this. So several people missed and then FaZe scored an own goal. <laughs> this is ridiculous.
<laughs> that is the stupidest goal riding I've ever scored. Um, and I've scored some silly goals. No, I don't think I have, in fairness, but that one definitely, considering the fact that I wasn't anywhere near the ball, I was the opposite end of the field collecting boost. How that managed to go in, I, I mean, I, I know they missed it, they fucked it, and got an own goal, but it is still just... It does still just slightly boggle the mind. Oh, this is, this is, this is my day. Ignore that. On this occasion, not my day. Tomorrow will be my day. Oh, Phase Drift has at least um, redeemed himself there. Well, having said that, he sort of stole it off of the other two, but still. In fairness, the other two were doing that sort of managing to do some kind of strange dance, weaving in amongst one another again, so. I'm not sure precisely how they've managed that every time, but so. They never hit the ball, but they also don't hit one another. It's quite clever if you. Uh, quite a clever thing if you tried it deliberately. The problem is, I don't think they're trying it deliberately. Uh, oh! Oof. They managed to get a touch on it, which shot it across the side. If you've got it, I will try and let you have it. Although, if you don't have it, I'm going to take it away from you. Do, 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 Just gonna hang back a little bit, assess the situation. And then ideally go. Never mind. The, the, the go stratagem didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Right, let's try and get it away from the goal. What is the optimal decision? Oh, no, I just leapt out of the way. Come on, guys. Rally, 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 rally. What are you doing? Playing tennis now? I suppose they haven't tried to do a tennis mode. I suppose arguably they may have tried and decided no, it's not going to work. Anyway, the, the game they, or, they originally did was, uh, I think, something like Supersonic Hyper Battle Cars, something along those lines. I don't think that's the full title. I think they had several more words involved in that title uh, originally, but... Oof! Just get it cleared of the centre so it makes it slightly more difficult. Although I haven't said that it... You know, being that it was straight on, it did sort of end up straight back at the centre. But I've got to admit, if they get if they get a touch on that, I was still no chance of really getting the correct angle to actually uh, save it. But... Oh, I think I've got a slight touch, but not enough to really change the trajectory. That one complete miss, which is fine. Oh, that one again complete miss, but. Need to hit it. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. The only times I ever miss are the times where I don't need to hit it. <laughs> it's not. Oh, oh! You testicle tickling turd. That's how you get shit on your ball back. But oh, I was so close to saving that. I was so close to being the hero, but it just crossed the line. Bastard. Bastard ball. Bastard balls. Where are you now? Ah, oh, you're gone forever. Oh, no, there you are. Oh, darn it. Dang it all, dang it all. If you ever dang it all. Oh, eee, little tap. Little tap. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just get your tapping. Tapping boots on. Oh, I need a friend to finish that off. No, never mind. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Luciano. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Luciano. Hey, interception. I wonder if Abdullah is uh, getting angry and just destroying people, or whether it just happened. Hey, nice one, Abdullah. I don't know how, where you cut the word off, unless it's all one word, of course. But I just, I feel like that looks like it says Abdullah Allen, which it might do. Feels like the two names are not necessarily in sync with one another. 
but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to be the case. But it might. It might cut off at the A, so it's actually Helen. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't bounce where I thought it was going to bounce. Then it did bounce where I thought it was going to bounce, so I wasn't in the position where I thought it was. All in all... Uh, <laughs> that's the noise you make when you're trying to defend the ball. Uh, dang it. I really thought I'd gotten the right reverse angle there. Turns out I did not. Uh, oh, that's a dangerous position, and it would have been my fault. Luckily, I think we're going to go into extra time again, which, annoyingly, we lost extra time last time. Uh, unless one can hope for a... Never mind. I was going to say miracle, but unfortunately, no such luck. Abdullah's got it. Well, he didn't. In fact, Abdullah should have said he was uh, goalkeeping. Oof! Oof! Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Everybody's exploded. Ah, you dickheads. I really want to win. I know. It's only natural, but someone has to lose. I think many years ago, before I was even born, at the cusp of the universe, it very much declared I was the loser. Well, tips. Never mind. Never mind. Biddy, 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 biddy. Well, I would have liked to win, but I got rare wills instead. The bravado. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll preview them outside of the match because I'm going to put it away, put it away, put it away now. I can't tell if my king can report par. But yeah, I mean, they're weird. Very bright and fancy. Well, it seems that's a blueprint, so I don't think I actually have those wheels. I have the potential to have those wheels. But I don't actually have the wheels. Which is a disappointing thing because I would prefer to actually have the wheels. Rather than have the potential to wheels. Do I have the potential to wheels? Yes, I do. Ooh. Right. Well, let's have a quick butchers, but I don't. I don't know if it's worth doing the do. Yeah, difficult to say. Uh, let's have a look, see if uh, we'll get rid of that. I'll do my admin now, might as well. Let's do the admin again. And by the time I've gotten through the admin, I might have found something suited, but difficult to say for something. Uh, come streams, come streams. That's not actually what it said, by the way. Uh, might as well get rid of that. Do, do, do. I was shortening to, shortening community to com, and then I decided, fuck it, we'll make it com instead, uh, which is sometimes what happens. Do 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 do. No, I think we'll just put it away and uh, leave everything else. So I suppose we'll do. Uh, well, having said that, I think it's preaching to the choir, but nonetheless, we might as well do them as a. As a formality at the end. Uh, if you are after some gaming goodness in your life tonight at nine o'clock, you have Mr. Meluge, who I think is still oh, doing uh, Dungeon Keeper. Net positive on free, good performance versus dumbness. You know, nine stars with no fat. Ha! 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 No, oh, you shitty swamp piece of garbage! <laughs> I nearly salvaged it. I nearly salvaged it with sweet wall jumps, and then that swamp was like, nah, bro. Well, I very nearly salvaged it, but unfortunately the salvage was too far under the water. And, of course, your other option for tonight... What is it is, is a sponge. Who will Sponges be watching up his Captain America. They're like... I don't know what this is. The They're like friends. What type of friends do this? Don't answer that. Don't clip it either. 
famous last words. Do not clip this. Instantly clipped. It's a fun little code between all of the people. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be back on uh, Thursday, 9 o'clock. I will be back and doing Dragon Quest Builders 2 and more Graveyard Keeper, I suspect. Unless I suddenly change my mind, but I think... I think this week we'll stick to the standard. Next week we might do something special. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, certainly I suspect on the 25th there won't be a Saturday. There'll probably be a Saturday this week. So 16th tomorrow there'll be a, a Bonanza of the Extraordinary. And then Saturday there will probably be a Saturday. But we'll deal with that later on in the week. I will say cheerio.